copper findings for free. So you've got the yellow gold plated copper findings for free. So 2,400 findings of, of the 4,800 findings are free. That's got to be one of the biggest deals of the century. It's absolutely incredible. So just bear that in mind. It's an amazing deal. Great. Um, and what were the findings like to work with, Mark? They're nice. Amazing. I haven't touched Good. the gold and I've hardly touched the Did you do something the, the space abuse, lovely, or not? In their bracelet. Ah, of course, yes, in the bracelet. Only yeah. about 16, I think. <laughs> Not incredible, like a smidge, a pinch. Yeah. I think I've dropped more than I used. I know, it's, 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 <laughs> the, with the findings pack, do you get uh, 1,200, yes. uh, um, sorry, no, 2,100 of the uh, little space beads, which Mark's used beautifully between these navy blue crackle quartz. That's gorgeous. Mark, when are you next with us? I am on Monday Late Show with yeah. Ed, I think, and Yay! then you Wednesday morning. <laughs> It's going to be amazing. We've got a Chips and Nuggets show on uh, Wednesday with possibly the longest kit name in the entire world. Yes. Have you seen the name of it? I've got the kit. So I've got it. Have in. you seen the name yes. of it? Pip just yes. absolutely loved it. Yeah. Do tune in now for the most incredible guest designer um, inspiration show. We've got Alison Tarry and we've got the gorgeous Becky with us today. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Wire work. Oh, yes, we've got wire work. We've got some amazing deals on today's show. Alison's designs are just. They, uh, it's a witch! It's absolutely gorgeous. Don't go anywhere. Uh, you'll see Alison. Uh, Alison's not a witch. She's made a witch. Don't go anywhere. Mark, I love you. Take care, guys. Bye -bye. See you in a bit. Bye! If you're new to Jewelry Maker, simply contact our call centre and we'll send you a tutorial DVD and Get Started booklet all free of charge. If you're new to jewellery making and want to learn all the essential techniques, then this is the perfect workshop for you. Join experienced resident designer Linda and learn how to get to grips with this addictive hobby. Learn how to create necklaces, earrings and bracelets with genuine gemstones. You will also have the opportunity to try a range of jewellery making mediums for beginners, including wirework, macrame and kumihimo. The full course includes a wide selection of gemstones and findings, threading materials, 0.4 and 0.8 silver plated wire, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and our museum and a visit to our shop. All of this for just £59.95. For more information contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Start your new hobby today with Jewellery Maker. We all know having the right tools for the job is important, so we here at Jewellery Maker have designed a toolkit which includes all your essential pliers for jewellery making, including round nose and flat nose pliers, wire cutters, as well as a bead reamer, snips and tweezers. You've got everything you need for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. the incredibly talented guest designer Alison Tarry in her very first wire sculpture DVD. In this edition, you will learn all the skills needed to create fabulous scroll work designs, including a decorative bell, wire booties, and an ornamental box. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655.
Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Designer Inspiration. It is our Halloween theme today. We have got so much going on. Not only am I launching a competition, ooh. I am also joined by the ever so lovely, the truly wonderful, extremely talented Alison Terry. Ooh. Hi, love. How Hello. are you? It's been ages. Well, six days since I saw you last. Days <laughs> since I've seen you. Um, how are you? I'm all right, thanks. Have you have you been doing a bit of housework? Well, you, you know, this just you know, this just grows on me now. <laughs> me and the spiders become one. <gasps> oh, <laughs> stay away. <laughs> I've got a faux spider in my hair, so I'll keep it on oh, the spider. Oh, no, faux's all right. Oh, uh, faux's all, right. all right. You're not good with spiders, Alison? Uh, no. Really? Not real ones. Not ones that move. You are creating for us today two pieces. One of them is a medium that I personally have never seen you use before. Mm, I've only used it a few times on the show. I've You're only done doing one of suit ash. Indeed. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That witch that you can see at the side of your screen over there is going to be one of our designer inspirations for the day. Done in a style that, of course, only Alice and Terry could do. <laughs> You've then got your wire work as well coming up. Do you want? Should we see it? Go on, let's have a let's have a sneaky, sneaky, peeky, peeky, shall we? This is your jack o' lantern, isn't it? Candle holder, take a look. Or you could just let what? the children carry it around and put sweeties in it sweeties it'll hold in. them. Look at that. How fab is that? That's going to be another designer inspiration for us today. I have got brand spanking new goodies for you as well. I'm talking about beautiful charms, all with a spectacular twist. Have you seen these charms? They are fab. Now, today is a special day. We're getting ready for Halloween. Now, Halloween is a time of year that perhaps, you know, um, when I was younger, it wasn't that much of a big thing, but it seems to year after year after year get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I get more and more children knocking on my door and I get, you know, I have to buy more and more treats every year. Halloween is a beautiful time for you to um, really just have a play with, with different pieces, creating different looks. And the lovely thing as well with a nice decorated house and theme is that these pieces we're creating, you can use year in, year out, time and time again, can't you? Which is something a little bit different in a way because not every piece of jewellery we say is for a specific theme. No. So this is very much to celebrate just as the cold draws in, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? It's a bit of I think fun. we need a bit of fun in winter. And Definitely. hasn't today been awful? Oh my goodness, thunder and lightning! Oh no! Do you know what thunder and lightning ice cream is? No. I think it's just an awesome thing when thunder and lightning ice cream, it's like cinder toffee and. Oh, it's delicious. Cinder toffee and ice cream. Wait, gets better. Caramel. And if you go to certain places, proper north, bits of Kendall mint cake as well. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. It's thunder and lightning outside, and I don't mean the ice cream. Uh, loads coming up for you today. The most stunning strand of imperial topaz I have ever seen is coming up as well. And do not forget, you've got the launch of our competition coming up very, very soon. When are we going to launch that about? We'll do it in the second DI time. So stay with us, stay with us. OK, let's get started, shall we? Where are we starting, lovely lady? Cabs as well. Cabs coming up for you as well. Um, oh, OK. We're going to start off with a bit of a bang. Hubble bubble double trouble. Try saying that after a punch. Um, <laughs> orange coral. Have a look. These are about to go very, very quickly. We don't have coral on often, and when we do, it flies out. When it's a double trouble price, you know how popular this is going to be. These are beautiful, almost little pumpkins, aren't they? Of the coral here in the orange. With that beautiful plain rondelle. 
six by four. You've then got your tubes in the red coral. Now, can you see the lining on those? Can you see them? That is the beauty of the coral itself shining through. Um, and those are eight by six. Just to let you know, because I know it's important to, to a lot of people out there, ethically sourced coral, okay? This isn't coral that we go into the sea and, you know, disrupt marine life or, um, you know, kill off shoals for or anything like that. We don't actually, sounds very strange, we don't actually go near the sea to get the vast majority of our um, coral. Um, the way that we get them is some of it is from washed up on the shore, but the vast majority of the coral that we get, we've actually gone into mountains to get them because it's areas where seas used to be back in ancient times but it's coral that has been dead and extinct for thousands upon thousands of years so that's what we do that's what we do um, so no totally ethically sourced hubble bubble double trouble let's get kicking off with a whammy of a price that's good isn't it but it's not a double trouble price Hubble, bubble, double, trouble. I love saying that, I'll be honest. Today, for you, at Just. No. Yep. Eight pounds and 95 pence for both of these strands. What do you think of that, Tarry? That's um, rather good, isn't it? Yeah. You're right about those being pumpkins. If you've got any mm. um, 0.4 or 0.25 black wire and just use it as lines, oh, black or um, antique bronze, and yeah. you could turn those into mini little pumpkins and have a little pumpkin necklace. That's adorable idea. How cute would that be? Or a little pumpkin ring. <laughs> little pumpkin ring. Oh. Oh. Oh, pumpkin <laughs> ring. <laughs> Ideas you'll have never heard uh, on this channel <laughs> at some points today, I'm sure. And um, what would you do for these if you weren't to create yeah. something kind of hubbly, bubbly, doubly, trubbly? I really like coral because I like, I like it's back to being organic and natural. Mm. That I like, I quite like those. Um, what are the long ones? The the, the tubey the ones. The tubey ones. Mm. <laughs> They're great, aren't they? You could really have a play with those. I mean, have, have they got decent sized holes in them? Because they look you. like they'd be great for um, doing macrame yeah, with. Yeah, decent enough. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you've got oh, the gosh, yeah, you'd get through decent, there. But... You'd get decent uh, macrame through yeah. there. Certainly, you'd get the um, Eslon thread um, that was on yesterday oh, yeah. through there. Easy peasy. That'd look fab. You could do all sorts of designs with that. Use it with the wire brilliant absolutely brilliant you could use it gosh it would look quite nice with rose gold as well i think i know that sounds a bit odd orange with the rose gold mm, but no, i think I that darker going. one would look quite nice i see where you're going just a little bit different just a little yeah. bit edgy yes <laughs> a little bit or maybe edgy. just bonkers <laughs> maybe it's back to the tarry brain <laughs> that's why we love you you know that you know that um do you know what? So, uh oh. Now, now, this is just talking about bonkers. Yeah, yeah. We work, obviously, there's loads of you coming in for this. Uh, do be quick if you want it. Um, we work for the Genuine Gemstone Company, and within this building, there's four other channels, our sister channels. Uh, sorry, there's three other channels, aren't there, in this building? Um, and in the, they've had quite a few new people uh, joining the lounge, which is our right. internet. Yeah. And um, they had. I was getting changed in the dressing room and three occasions within the last month we've had new people come in going oh um yeah oh, oh what channel do you work on I've gone jewelry maker and they go oh the crazy channel <laughs> three different people someone said crazy so I said oh the mad channel I think the other person said isn't that oh, the one where you're all a little bit weird <laughs> I just go it was like that. By the end, it was just like, yes, that is us. That is maybe, us. maybe it's in their training. Maybe it is. <laughs> maybe it's part <laughs> of their induction. Watch out for that lot over there. Yeah, yeah, be careful. <laughs> if you see someone a bit odd, they probably Don't work see. on jewelry maker. <laughs> So you fit, you, you fit in perfectly. You fit in perfectly. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence for was loads of you getting this. Lots of multi buyers as well. Last chance, I've got to say it. Hubble bubble double trouble. Eight pounds ninety-five. <laughs> That feels so nice to say. Say it at home. Feels good. <laughs> Hubble bubble, double trouble. Doesn't that feel good? My director's just said it. Oh, it sends chills, doesn't it? And um, where are we going now? 
Mm. Another little bundle of goodness. Ooh. Ooh. Gorgeous colour palette. Mm. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> Wait. Hang on. <laughs> uh, have I definitely got all these strands? I've got four in here, but there's only three in front of me on the description. Just want to make sure. Hang on. We're just double checking. There should be four. Okay, okay. You might have a description in front of you if you're on the internet that just says three, but there is four here. Right, okay. Say that to me again. Sorry about this. Say it again. Right. Yeah, got that one. Right. It's this one you've not got a, a, an explanation of if you're looking on the internet. It's this strand here, but you are getting it. It is a faceted strand of your beautiful, um, it's Amazonite, isn't it? And how many carrots have I got on these ones? I've got 200 carrots on my large nuggets of the Amazonite. I've got 400 carrots of the green adventurine. I've got your beautiful shell pearls, uh, the shell drops as well. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Look at the sheen on those. Mm -hmm. And then I've got your green adventurine rounds. And there's how many carrots? 30 carrots worth on that strand. So you have got a real richness of colours running through here. Beautiful natural colour palette, isn't it? Yeah, it's great colour palette. And especially, I know we've been mentioning the C word quite a lot, but it's definitely a good a good colour palette for, for going into that season. But you could use it any time. It's great spring, great summer. It's lovely. It is beautiful, yeah. isn't it? And... That little one's beautiful, isn't it? The li you've got little leaves here as well, haven't you, Michelle? They're so cute. Um, this is your bewitching gems. Ooh. Do -do, do -do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Bewitched? Oh yeah. I can't do the nose. No, me neither. We've both just went. Can you do that? No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Your do, price today do, is do, not do, going do, to do, be do, the do, first do, price that do, you do, see. Do, do. <laughs> <laughs> How can they say we're weird here? I don't, know. <laughs> I really don't know where this rumour comes from. Your price for all four. You're going to love it. Not. Wait for it. For four? Yeah. I'm very careful how I say that now. <laughs> After last time. That's definitely for four strands. For all four. 8 95 for all four. I'll give you that for the little one. For this one here? Mm. Yeah, I think that's stunning. How I, often? I like all of them, but that is, is really caught my eye. We don't have these gems on often nope. at all, do we? We nope. really don't. Beautiful natural tones. In. There's plenty and plenty of you coming in. Loads of you on the phone. We will be with you very soon. What's my queue time on the phone? About? About? Oh, about 30 seconds. That's fine, about 30 seconds. Yesterday was a really, really crazy busy day on the phone, wasn't it? It's because it was our sister channel's birthday, official birthday yesterday. Today is quieter on the phone. So if yesterday you thought, oh, four and a half minute wait for everything, I can't stand it. Don't worry, today's much, much quicker on the phone. So get yourself in really, really early. I love them. I, I do, they're so versatile. They're so versatile, and I've had a sneaky peek of some other stuff that's coming up, and they go brilliantly with it, absolutely what? brilliantly. The red pearls. Oh yeah. Sorry. Never said it. Some of those on there. Oh yeah. They go very nice. Do you know what? Have you seen that strand of imperial topaz? It's gorgeous. Isn't it? I know. Would you put them together? Look at that. I, oh yeah. Oh yeah. hello, sunshine. Oh Beautiful. hello. Beautiful. Oh, Hello, you gorgeous, glimmering delight of love. Look at the fire beautiful. in that. <gasps> Sorry. All four strands. I can't, how do we do it? 
Four strands for 8.95. I don't know. I really don't know because they're beautiful strands. And look at the carat weight you've got there. It's, yeah. it's bonkers. Mad. It is. And we don't have Amazonite. Oh, <laughs> epic fail, Pete. Come here. <laughs> it's look well snuck. Me and Brother Pete, oh, we've bought uh, we've we the same hair today. Yeah. How, Brother Pete? Hi. Thank you for my waters, right. you little love. <laughs> what a sweetie. Pete will be with us later on. Don't worry, ladies and gents. He'll be back. Have you got a spooky um, impression for us today, Pete? Um, I'll, I'll take one up. <laughs> I'll see if I can rustle one up, he's just said. I adore that. Oh, lovely water, Pete. Is this upstairs, water? Yeah, that's upstairs. You can tell. <laughs> Only the best. <laughs> Only the best. Um, the other day, <laughs> Pete, we had... We do work hard here, I promise. But the other day, we had a little debate, OK, about which water is better, upstairs or downstairs. And uh, P, bless him, brought to me, whilst we were on air, he brought to me two cups, one with a little upstairs arrow and one with a little downstairs arrow. And whilst I was selling something, this is behind the scenes, guys, I had a little, yeah, isn't this gorgeous? And we voted upstairs for one. So thank you for going upstairs, you little love. <laughs> Only I tested them. Very true. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence. There is not many of those left, actually. I'm not surprised at all. Which colour? Oh my goodness! Unusual that you see cashew pearls in this colour. Mm -hmm. It's described as peach. It's so so delicate. It's really wonderful. Look. I haven't seen this one before. That is gorgeous, though. I have to say, I think cashew pearls are my favourite of all the pearls. I'm on board with you there. Mm. Why for you? It's the organic shape. No two the same. No. They're very different. I just, they're lovely. Absolutely lovely. They look unique, don't they? Yeah, yeah. I think cashew pearls are beautiful as well because... Um, Sometimes with, you know, your usual pills, you can think, oh, they're quite traditional. Mm -hmm. They, you almost feel like they should be used in a certain way or treated in some sort of special manner. But with cashew pearls, I feel anyway, that I have more freedom with them. <laughs> you could certainly, they'd go great in steampunk. Oh, gorgeous. They'd go great with steampunk. Gorgeous with steampunk. they've got that slightly quirky shape. Yeah. They're lovely. Love they are lovely. the idea of that. They are beautiful, aren't they? People are already on the phone for this. Hello, everyone. <laughs> These are your peach cashew pearls. Now, with the cashew, what you get is a beautiful organic look. You really do. Each one just looks so, so different. Uh, you get a beautiful texture on the surface. You get a boho chic effect to them. It's totally unique and different. Uh, These are your peach cultured pearls. What's my price? Really? Okay, I'll just give people a heads up. This is just to give you, get you kind of, you know, for you who know. You know the lowest price that we can go to on a strand? <laughs> You're joking. I know. With cashew pearls. With cashew pearls. Wow. Now that is very, very unusual. Very, almost unheard of, actually. Yeah, I can remember the first lot of cashew pearls I bought, and I think they were £19. Yeah. From here. From here? Yeah, yeah. £19. But they were a while ago. Yeah, yeah. They were a while ago. Our buying power is going up and up and up, mm. and we are able at the moment to get amazing prices. And what I will say to you as well is, do not forget, if we get a great price on something, we will pass that price on to you. And that's exactly what we've done with these. We must have bought these in, in massive amounts. We must have. Uh, your price point today... That's gorgeous, that. So versatile, that strand. What would you do with it? Me, I'd really want to take it with some antique bronze wire and do something quite funky with it. Would you? Yeah. But you could, you could still strand that traditionally hmm. and have a lovely necklace. Absolutely beautiful. You can use it in bridal. It's brilliant in bridal. Absolutely oh. brilliant with bridal uh, book jewellery. Beautiful. But no, I'd, I'd, I'd try and do something a little bit different with it. I love the idea of that. 
Do you know why they're good for bridal? What is it that makes you think, oh, they're bridal? The colour. The colour's definitely very bridal palette. Um, yeah. But you see, because of the different shapes, they, they kind of catch the light differently and they do give such a lovely sheen and the light does bounce off beautifully off them. And I think because you've got that, you can catch... The round ones, don't get me wrong, round pearls or nearly round pearls are beautiful, but that will catch the light. It's wonderful. <laughs> it is beautiful. Sorry. I just need to clear something up uh, uh -oh. because I've never seen Pete look so distressed in his life. Um, my dad, I've just taken a, a sip of my water and I sort of looked at it because for some reason the cup was half empty and I thought, oh, have I already drunk out of that cup? That was it. I kind of did a bit of a bemused face. My director jumped on it instantly. Oh, upstairs water not good enough for you now, is it not? <laughs> Pete stands up like, what's wrong with your water? Nothing. <laughs> babe, it's fine. Don't worry. It's all good. Corker of a job, babe. <laughs> <laughs> there is a bit of a cue. About a minute wait. But... It's because you're not used to seeing this price point on these pearls. Um, back in the day, back in the in day, in the Greek times. Okay. Can I say your show the other day when you did all the myths and legends was brilliant? Sorry, oh. you're going back in the day. I forgot to tell you last time. So it's brilliant. Do you know what's really, really strange? Sorry. When people say things like that to me. Mm. I genuinely forget that other people can see me <laughs> doing things like that. I think that's dead weird. I think it's strange that you can watch me. <laughs> that's dead odd. It's a very strange environment in here, isn't it? It's it not is, real. It's very strange. It's just, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a couple of people. It's strange. <laughs> it's no what one was else. your favourite one? Can you think of one that was your oh, favourite? But, well, I'm, I love all the Greek legends and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, gosh, which would have been my favourite? You did, you did the, now was it that one or the, the other show, you did some rutile, golden rutile quartz. Oh yeah, that yeah, yeah. Not that's that interesting that yeah. one, isn't it? About the scryers. Yeah. Oh, and the bit about um, you give you give one to, to couples who are having a problem. Oh yes. To tie them together sort of to, thing. To tie them together to. I did pay attention. Ah, uh, no, 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 <laughs> it wasn't a test. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, pearls, for those who don't know, pearls uh, in the Greek times used to be worn, um, by bride on their wedding day because it was said that they were the tears of angels that's what the Greeks used to believe that pearls were tears of angels and if you think the purity of an angel in their eye with the purifying tears they believed that if they gave it to a bride on her wedding day not only would it be you know doubly purifying but also it would give her courage because she was wearing tears of an angel and um, so that's one of the reasons why they're still traditionally actually put on on a bride on her wedding day and um, loads of you have come in for this the queue has gone down so if you want them get them 6.95 for you today congrats this what do you think of this oh the, oh i haven't seen that oh, oh well now's your time look at them oh these the um Halloweeny ones. Halloweenies. Oh, and they fab. Oh, charms. Absolutely fab. Let me show you all of these charms. Look at the quality. Them look chunky, aren't they? Quite weighty. Let me show you them all. You've got skull and crossbones here for all you rawr, pirate lovers. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> the scariest pirate you ever did see. <laughs> <laughs> I've also got your skull. <laughs> Don't make me get angry. <laughs> You've also got your skull. Have you seen the eyes on this? Little love heart. Oh, very scary. Hmm. <laughs> He's smiling. You've also got another skull and crossbones, but this one's totally different. This one has <laughs> got a bit of an afro. <laughs> You'll know what I mean when you see him. Look at his hair. I know you don't necessarily think skull, hair. but look, but yeah, he does. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, skull and crossbones. It's nice, that, isn't it? I love that. Different. Different. Look at this as well. Look at this spider. And do you know what I like as well? It's got a little, oh sorry, it's got a little um, indentation in the body. You could inlay a gemstone in there if you've got a small enough one. 
or use your enamels or, or polymer clay. Yeah, good idea. Just, just a little bit mm. of additional detail. Here it is. Say that to me again. Oh, who said that? Someone's texting. Maureen. Thanks, Maureen, for your text. You're so lovely. <laughs> Even with all this stuff in my hair, it's that scary pirate. I'm <laughs> telling you, <laughs> you've got a little um, skelly hand as well. And that's the back, and there's the front. Ooh, skelly hand. I've then got another. Oh, this one's really cool. Oh my goodness, it's a skull with a hat. Yeah, this is like a jazz skull. Mm. It's like a hipster skull. <laughs> Mr. That's Bone wow. Jangles, you are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good, that. Very good. Um, they've got a little witch's hat. Oh, super cute. And let me show you the pumpkin next to it as well. And here's the pumpkin. Oh, sorry. Look at the oh, little oh, pumpkin. Oh. So those, ladies and gentlemen, are new new super duper charms I've then got there's loads of you already on the phone matrix boxes of goodies spaces of all different shapes and sizes take a look they're cute round cubes that's almost like a snowflake shape um, brush detail you've got some uh, Oh, I almost got a pumpkin, pumpkin again. <laughs> They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. Loads. Now look at this. Another box of goodies. Look at all them. Spaces galore. Toggle oh. clasps. Crimp covers. Clasps as well. Bolt rings. And, oh look. Chain. So, they come in your matrix boxes. I've then got your Kumi Hemo. I always say Kumi Hemo cord ends. They're not just though, are they? You can use them no. for so much more, yeah. can't you? you? You could use them with your Viking knit. You, you could use them with just braided stuff. It doesn't have to be Kumi Hemo. Kumi Hemo. Kumi Hemo. You could even just have, um, you know, one of our tassels hanging out yeah. there, couldn't you? You could. If you're, if you're one of those lovers. Um, so you've got them in pairs, you can see pairs in size. Lots of different sizes, eight mil, six mil, four mil, and three mil. And you're getting a pair of each. You've then got your cord ends with your extender chains and the S-shaped clasp. When it comes to the clasp, the S-shape have been so, so popular. We actually got them in just as a bit of a try out, just as a mm. bit of a, well, they're a bit different. Let's give them a go. They're so popular. They fly out all the time. You've got those cord ends in different sizes as well. Let me show you them so you get an idea. So these are the U-channels. So again, if you want to do a delicate piece, you've got the cord ends here, all the way up to the middle size and the chunky size as well. Quite happy to see the difference in them, isn't it? Look, super chunky, and then you've got your small delicate one as well. And you have gemstones, ladies and gentlemen. Look, how was the carrot weight on this? Do we know? 300 carats worth. Look at the quality of this carnelian. Isn't that quality spectacular? And then wait for this, you're not going to believe this. Spinel. Ooh. Black spinel. It does, doesn't it? Looks absolutely beautiful. Unusual to get spinel. Mm. But you are today. Let's reiterate. Two, four, six, eight of those Halloween charms. You've got a massive matrix, two matrix boxes of goodies. One with huge spaces, one with little ones, both with clasps in, um, with the, with the uh, toggle clasps and your bolt ring clasps in here. Uh, you've then got your cord ends, pairs, your toggle, your cord end clasps. You've then got carnelian and spinel. 
it's new and there's so much newness in here it's hard to price mm -hmm. it isn't it it would be hard for people you get used to certain prices on certain things but when it's brand new it's obviously hard to judge i doubt anyone is going to be guessing the price that you're about to see it's all just 29 pounds and 95 pence for it's all brilliant. of this for spinel I know. I don't think I've ever seen spinel like that before. No. I've only ever seen it. Have I, I might have seen it in a kit once, but I don't think I've ever seen it in, in the chip format. No. And it goes perfectly with that carnelian. Doesn't it? Let me get a little bit on my spatula of both. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. They are beautiful, aren't they? £30. We hardly ever have the Kumihimo cordon ends in anyway. No. We have got a massive <coughs> amount of your matrix boxes within here and those brand new charms. Are you going to see these charms individually? Probably not. No, you're not. Um, in fact, I don't think you will actually because of the price of them. We wouldn't be able to bring them to air, would we? No, we wouldn't. They will, they will, I can't promise this, but I can say 99% sure these will always be as part of a bundle. So I know some people think, oh, I'll wait because I want to see them, you know, by themselves. Mm -hmm. it, it won't happen. It will not happen because of the price point. We're not able to do that for you. Um, so I'm just putting that out there straight away to be clear. Um, look at all of the ones you get. I mean, just let, I wonder if I can balance them on my finger. You've got, don't forget your schools. You've got your heart school, your disco school. Uh, with his afro and um, you've got Mr Bone Jangles with his cool and cash hat look at that little hat let me show you how cool is that <laughs> look at him he is, he is beautiful isn't he I love him as well he's a cool little character I think he's ace I think they're all ace those charms and do you want some ideas of what to do with them go on then we've got some ideas for our gorgeous button beaters this is by Sue. Look at that. Isn't that oh, fab, fab and funky? Little bracelet, mm. all the charms clustered together, the spinel, and she's done it almost these kind of uh, stalactites mm. ways to give gorgeous bit of texture. Well done, Sue. Look at this. <gasps> Doesn't that look expensive? Mm. That looks like that well-known charm brand we all know of. Mm. doesn't it yeah especially because it's on the slider and then just a little just added detail but you see just with one charm on looks brilliant yeah it looks brilliant and the other one fantastic Good. great yeah. for your halloween party and stuff like that because i know i know a lot of it's about the children mm. but there's enough there's enough of us got children still within us <laughs> Yeah. We're all kids at heart, aren't Definitely. we? Definitely. You know, and you go out for parties and stuff, and they're fantastic. They are, aren't they? Absolutely fantastic. They are lovely, aren't they? But but the the carnelian and the and the spinel, you can take those away afterwards and make a different set of jewellery. Yeah. Quite deco. You're right, actually. The, the black, and then with the Especially boost of the that orange. the style of the black. Yeah. Because of the luster. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So even if you want to, you make it for Halloween, you keep your charms to one side for next year as well, and then you remake, you remake, remake those into something else. Clever. Very clever idea. Mm. Adore it. Oh, you've got so much opportunity. Absolutely. Lots of you getting your hands on this. Congratulations to you all. Let me pop that there. And thank you, Sue, for those. You lovely lady. Love Sue. She's so nice. Um, Fab, what are we doing, sweet pea? Designer inspiration. Ooh. Now, this is <laughs> totally different for you. I have <laughs> never seen you see Tash before. Talk to us about that. I've, I've only done it on one show before. I love that. I, I really actually enjoy it. Now, if anyone saw me do it before, yeah. I did it differently. I've not trained in Kumahimo, but then I very rarely, I'm, I'm self-taught in virtually everything I do. I think the only course I've been for is is the silver clay course where I want, went to, to make the wedding rings oh, with the wonderful Natalia, and that's that's the only course. I go on. I, I tend to pick stuff up as I go yeah. along, and I'll experiment. And I think sometimes people get bogged down by the way you're supposed to do something. Yeah. There's no right and wrong in crafts. No. Y you do it the way you want, and if you come out with something that's different, 
who cares? Yeah. You know, exactly. it's what you want it to look like, what you want it to do. Yes, learn basic techniques. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for learning the basic techniques, but play with it. Don't don't be worried about experimenting. And that's and that's what I've done. I've just played with it. I wanted something to make a witch out of. So you know, it was either going to be wire, polymer. I thought, oh no, let's do something a bit different. Yeah. So and we had to play. Have, you've really just you've gone your own way on it. Oh, always. <laughs> and that's what we adore. Uh, you're about to see something really quite unusual. The thing that will strike you first off is I've just said Sutash, so people are probably going to be thinking, oh, cabs. Oh, there'll be some cabs in here. <laughs> no, not the case. Uh, Alison Tarry has used round gemstones exclusively yep. on this. This is the witch that we're going to be having a little look at today. Isn't she spectacular? Let's have a look at your gem, shall we? Gorgeous graduated strand of your blue quartz here. Big graduation on it. Can you see the difference here? Mm. It's a really nice denim. Have you got any lapis in your collection? If you do, with some that's left over. Oh, what a lovely pair. From five mil to 15 mil on this. Beautiful graduation. And Alison has used this to her advantage. Um, I've then got a beautiful blue strand of your shell. They're really, that is a gorgeous mix of tones, isn't it? Totally unique, this colour. It's like a petroly blue, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you're right. You're totally right. 10 mil. Beautiful. Then, <gasps> beautiful brown obsidian. Wowzers, ladies and gents. I don't think I've ever held this gem before. I've held obsidian, um, but brown obsidian, that is special. Obsidian, the luster is unique to me. It truly, truly is. It's so individual and different. Um, you have got on this strand, um, hang on a second, four mil, 30 carats worth. I'm then gonna add tiny, gentle, smoky quartz look at the size of those look at the twinkle for such a small gem this is really packing a punch when it comes to sparkle isn't it because they're so so faceted you've never seen this strand before it's a brand spanking new strand they're only two mil okay but they're highly faceted you can see that you can see the sparkle i have no idea how they do that on such a tiny tiny oh, space no. And get the drill hole yeah. and facet them. I have no so idea. superb. Look at that. What a dazzling little strand that is. And um, then I'm adding to your uh, collection. Mm. Look at them. Green agate. Beautiful mix. Four mil on those ones. 30 carats. And look. Oh, Aventurine. Two mil again. Let me just, I just want to see these together. Oh, look at the twinkle. They are beautiful, mm. deep richness of the smoky quartz, just juxtaposed with that beautiful freshness that you see in the aventurine. We don't see aventurine on that often, let alone one that has been so exquisitely worked. So it's a beautiful collection. So. Um, you have got here your selection of strands. I have got your shell, I've got your quartz, I have your beautiful brown obsidian, that's so exciting. Um, I've also got a strand of agate and I've got your smoky quartz with the adventuring as well. Those are all your strands, plenty going on there already. Quite a nice uh, dip into the colour palette as well, isn't it? I've then got your backing fabric. Oh, that's beautiful. The ultra suede's gorgeous. I love ultra suede. And me. It's so soft, it's so usable, mm -hmm. and it is really, really very, very luxurious. Oh, it is. And that colour, I absolutely adore that colour. Not that you see it, but I still adore that colour. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. This is the exact colour yeah. of my sofa. Oh, is it? Yeah. And my sofa suede. Oh, is it suede and you've got a dog? Yeah, it's I'm not. I'm impressed. Yeah, it's not. It's like not real suede. <laughs> it's just like suedey feel. 
suede, faux suede. <laughs> um, it, it looks like someone's just been and cut a bit off my sofa, which I know isn't <laughs> a point for you, but Shh. it's just to let you do something. <laughs> <laughs> we have. Um, have you been round the back lately? <laughs> <laughs> it is so soft, it's so luxurious. And the nice thing with that is, of course, especially if you do have it on the back of, say, a pendant, it's what you feel against your skin. Oh, I know, it's gorgeous. That's what you want, isn't it? Mm. Oh, beautiful. I've then got the one that people go crazy for. Yeah, Eslon. In fact, someone's texting to say, have you got any Eslon coming up today? Here it is. Uh, in, in a bundle as well, which means you're getting price off. I've then got soutache cords themselves. Now, if you have never done soutache before, do not worry, do not fret. Alison's going to talk you through step by step exactly how to get involved with this. But soutache cord itself, this is the cord that we talk about. Um, it is specifically designed for this type of medium. It has a ditch in the center, which is as you'll see later, very important with these designs. You have got in here two of your deep, rich blue. You've then got a gorgeous green. <laughs> and you have a brown as well, which goes really nicely with that brown obsidian. And actually, those colours are matched in the gems, aren't they? Mm. So, let's take a look at your price for all of this so much so that I can't actually hold it all um, I really genuinely cannot and I'm trying um, let's reiterate what you've got one two three four five six strands a whole set of Eslon your beautiful ultra suede and four lots of your Soutash cords should be taking it under 30 for you today. People have already bought it at that price. People are already, I know they're gonna drop it and I know they're gonna do a great job. Your price today is just 27 pounds and 95 pence. Wow. You were just rustling under your desk. I said that and you kind of wow. came up like a meerkat. Yeah. Oh, Ba-ding. what do you think of that price? That's you can see fantastic. you're chuffed with it. You get a lot with that price. You do get an awful lot for that. Brown obsidian yeah. as well, not something we see often. No, you don't. Now, Soutash is one of those mediums that, and like you said it earlier, you know, you could have tried out the polymer and this, that, and the other, but you decided to go for Soutash because it was a bit unusual. Mm -hmm. And I think out there, still, it is a little bit unusual for certain people yeah. who've maybe not done mm. it before. I think people also get an idea that it's got to be in a specific style. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I've seen some absolutely amazing soutache creations. I mean, Linda does some fabulous creations. Mm. Um, and, and if you look, there are some absolutely incredible creations. But this, what I've done is, is shown you the versatility of it. Yeah. You don't have to think about doing something that's of a certain style. You can, you can take anything and work outside the box with it. Absolutely. You know, you, you really don't have to conform to no. whatever. No, you don't. No I, rules. I mean, it. you could use it as, as, as simple braid and plaited it. Absolutely. If you do you Kimi Hemo as yeah. well, you can Kimi Hemo with this. Yeah, absolutely. And it gives you a unique appearance. Yeah. You, you know, you could stitch, stitch. I mean, traditionally, it comes from stitching on clothing. Yes. Um, so you could go back to that. I was actually um, having a look at some designs um, because I, I have in mind something I want to do, and I wasn't looking for that. Yeah. But I was I just just having a look at general designs and what have you. Oh my gosh, I've seen an amazing wedding dress that is instead of lace, it's soutached. Oh my gosh, it must no have taken way. for. Ever. That's amazing. Oh, God blimey, it's incredible. Oh, you're already married though, Alison. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I've done a wedding dress. <laughs> Let's head Once on enough. over to Alison, shall we? Plenty of you coming in for this. Congratulations. If you haven't done Soutash before, would you be able to do this the first time? Yeah. Would you? Yeah. First time projects? Yeah. Wow. Don't see why not. It's so stand out. I really don't see why not because it's not got a set confirmation it, it yours probably won't look exactly like that if I did another one it wouldn't look exactly like that uh, yeah it would look slightly different yeah there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't have a go at it I love that even if you're a newbie yeah. why not get involved today yeah 
27 pounds and 95 pence the collection and a, a medium we don't see that often no way no. we no. really don't so it's lovely to have it on today if you want to get involved with us do send us a text 60777 is the number uh so you text the word jm studio or get involved online if you want to as well what i will say to you ladies and gents is you don't want to go anywhere because i'm launching an amazing competition for you i think the thing with this as well is it's something you can do with the children yeah absolutely and if you take the beads out and do it simpler there's no reason why you can't sit down with the kids and make little witches for them for halloween oh, i adore that idea i mean i would say slightly older children because yes. you've got a sharp needle of course you know not your two three year olds no but, but but your your eights nines ten year olds why not that'd be fab they Lovely could have a great time involved. oh and absolutely if you were to do one like that you could have it as a window hanging yeah as a brooch as a you know we made one things. Now, I'm sure oh Godmother would tell me exactly when. I'm going back to when I was a child. We made one in felt and it hung. Oh, Mum's still got it somewhere. It hung in the wheel window for years, this really? witch on a, on, a, on, a, on a stick. Yeah, and it's still there somewhere. That's we did. But well, that's what we used to do when we were a family. That's what we used to do. That's gorgeous. So, I mean, this sort of stuff, it's great. But there's nothing to stop you as well if you're really into your soutache taking the bits and doing a traditional soutache. Yeah. Absolutely nothing to stop you doing that. Of course. Just because my brain's slightly... Unique. <laughs> right. Where are we starting, love? We started. Right. I went and got... You could either draw one... Yeah. ..or I got some free free pictures. I had to look at some pictures on the internet. Mm -hmm. so it's quite easy to start with the shape. Yeah, I see. OK. So I kind of started with that one and decided that was far too complicated. Right, <laughs> I was going to struggle with the, the foot. And, and also it, it becomes a weakness. OK, yeah. Because it's going to be dangling. So I kind of simplified it. OK, that's good. Cool. Yeah? Yeah. So there you go. Let's see those two together. So we were saying that this bit here is a little bit complex. Yeah, so, we so just I just sort of gave it a sweeping frock it. and simplified it. You could, you could cut that bit off there and have a little... Mm. That still looks the same with a little cape. Little cape yeah, you could simplify it quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I placed her on there. Mm -hmm. I obviously printed it so that it would fit on here. <laughs> um, then I got a... Uh, if you've got tailor's chalk or anything like that, use it. I used a silver pen, yeah. readily available. So you're not going to see it anyway, are you? And I just drew around the witch doesn't have to be perfect like you say it's the backing you're not going to see it mm -hmm. you're going to trim it but it gives you and and nor are you going to have it exactly the same because it doesn't don't worry about fitting it exactly into the outline um it won't so draw around it there we go So, I don't know whether you can see that on yeah, the camera. Yeah, you can see that perfectly. Yeah, I ain't got my glasses on now, eh? Oh, I promise. I'll be <laughs> your eyes. <laughs> you see it. Right, so we got an outline. So, it, it gave me something to follow. Okay. So, it didn't fit exactly because, because of the beads and where you're going, it doesn't. Now, what I did was I built it up in pieces. Mm. So, I had that as an outline, and then I started with the navy. Now, I did ask before whether I could mention it because I wanted to do something a little bit different from the black. It's still dark and I mean it looks black to yeah. most. Oh, yeah, almost. But I'd not long read um, a Terry Pratchett novel about a young Mitch and uh, it, she, she, uh, she Will Wear Midnight. Oh, and really? that's so I, so I went oh, for Midnight Blue. So, but what I'll do is I'll show you in the green okay. because you'll see it, it will be difficult to see in the blue. Okay. So. So just use your match. Yeah, you, okay. you, this would be blue. Yes. <laughs> Imagine this is blue. Okay. Right. We're creative, so we've got good <laughs> We're good creative types. So what I did was I got a length, two lengths. I put my scissors in. What have I done with them? Scissors. No, it's all right. I've got have these. Have you got them? Yeah. Is that all right to use? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did have 
tools are so useful, aren't they? Oh, yeah. These are blades. Oh, I do. <laughs> it's amazing when you start using them, though. Right, so I've got two lengths. And what I did was I built it all up in sections. So it's not one piece, that's why I say it's not hard. No, okay. I built it in sections, fitted them together. Yeah. And adjusted them to be into the roughly that shape. So that's why I say don't panic about it. I'm quite sure people who've got years and years of experience with soutache could sit down and do that in one piece. <laughs> I but Give me a couple of to. years, you know, yeah, let me, let me practice. Knowing you a couple of weeks. Listen, no, no. listen, everybody. Let's have a little chat, shall we? Um, I'll be honest with you, as I always am. Um, Soutache, as I said earlier on, is a medium that we don't have on that often. Um, and that really, because we don't have it on that often, perhaps, it's quite a niche market. It's quite an unusual um, selection. When we do have it on, because it's so few and far between and quite unusual, it's not necessarily a a medium that that many people are involved mm. with really is it which is great actually if you're selling your pieces because it means that you're going to be creating something a bit different a bit unique i'll be completely honest with you now in saying that um we need more people to get involved with things like soutache we want you to get involved with more mediums such as soutache because it's one of those mediums that because it's quite new to us and because more of our guest designers are finding it and loving it and enjoying it, we're probably going to start bringing it to you a little bit more often as time goes on. And we want more people to get involved. We want more people to give a go because things like wire work, it's one of our most popular mediums. Lots and lots and lots of people do it. Lots and lots of people try it. Soutache is a little bit more unusual. It's a little bit different. It is relatively new to us compared to some of our other mediums. Um, so we want more people to try it. That's why my producers just rung the managers. My producers just rung the managers upstairs and said, look, 27.95, can I do any better? She probably rung them about five minutes ago. They had to have a chat. They've just rung back and said, you can drop it lower. Excellent. So we're going to. We're going to, because we want more people to get involved. We want more people to give this wonderful medium a go. So we're going to entice you. Oh. 24 pounds and 95 pence. That is over 15 pounds saving. That's brilliant. On the original price. And, and most of you know me yeah. as a wire worker. Yeah. And it's so great to have a go. Just, just play with some other mediums. Yeah. You might surprise yourselves. Yeah. You really might surprise yourselves. Have a play. And there's, um, I think Linda does a course on it. There you are. It's a suit ash yeah. course. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're and not sure shop. about doing basic techniques and things, and we've got suit ash DVD. Yep. Then, then Get yourself. there's help out there. There is. D do it. Absolutely. And the things with suit ash that you get, which is quite unusual towards certain other mediums, is. If you get it at home, you try one piece of soutache, you don't like it, you've still got loads of cord. Oh, you yeah. can use this for macrame still. Yeah. You can use this for kumahimo. You could use this as torques of bracelets. Yeah. You, you can do simple earrings. What, what I did for my last piece, I did a floral necklace as one of the pieces. Mm. And what was really nice um, was when I got home that night, I'd had a, a message from a lady. She said, I've never really fancied doing soutache. Mm. But I really like the look of doing something different with oh, it. So I've, I've bought the kit and I'm going to give it a go. Oh, that's good. And I had a few people saying that, that oh, that's they, really they, nice. they bought it to do something and have a go. And I would say, have a go. It's fab. Okay. You could make with this kit quite a few pieces mm. of traditional soutache. You'd get loads of earrings out of it. You'd get necklace, well, several necklaces out of it. Mm. And, and just if you just did. The blue and the lime, Together. beautiful. The brown Gorgeous. and the lime, the brown and the blue. You know, you don't have to do a witch. No. We're in Halloween, Halloween mode. Yeah. But no, definitely have go. a go. And all the people I know who have tried it have loved it. Literally loved it. Trevor Kirsty, producer yeah. Kirsty. Oh, she goes mad with it. She, oh, she gave it a go one day. And then, what did you do last night? Soutashed. I soutashed. Yeah. Look at what I soutashed. Okay. Constantly. Shh. She loved 
did. Beautiful design she did. Gorgeous Absolutely pieces. gorgeous. But it is quite an addictive medium, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Which we love. This is, this is why I'm trying to, to not go down sort of too many routes, like the polymer clay. I've got, you I watched... Um, Bring yourself in. Who was on with you yesterday? I don't know, 24 uh, hours ago. Oh. Um, I do know. Sarah Elvin. Sarah, sorry, yeah. flower. <laughs> sorry, Sarah. Flower, that's nice. <laughs> um, with the F colour. Yeah. I love it. I love Such the F colour. Guess what I'm playing with it this weekend, because oh, I haven't had a chance yet. Right, what I've done is I've folded that in half, mm -hmm. and I've taken, made a knot in my thread, and just pulled it up through to the outside. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a long stitch of about, uh, what's that, about a quarter centimetre, a uh, quarter, half a centimetre or so. Yep. And then go back on the inside. Now what we're going to do is put the bead in the middle of this. So we're going to go back about a quarter of a centimetre or so, a slightly shorter one, then another longer one. Right, and what you want it to do, I'm going to move her out of the way for a minute. Not you lot, sit, 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 sit. Stay. You can tell I've got dogs. What you want to be able to do is to go halfway round, so we'll take that back up for a little one. And we should be ready then. Someone sent a text in. Yeah, let's have a look. Text in if you want to. Oh, yeah. I thought today was a wire show. Just that you said that earlier in the week. Polly! We're doing wire. We're doing wire in a bit. Do you not see that pumpkin? The wire pumpkin? We're doing a wire jack o' lantern. It's amazing. So we have got that coming up for you, Pauline. Look how cool! I've got a bag in it. I love it looks that. so different with the bag yeah, in you it. Can, yeah, you can't see yeah. through then, can you? How cool is that? So, Pauline, thanks for messaging, Chick. We have got the wire work coming up, don't worry. And good listening. Well done. <laughs> Pauline's always got a good memory. Someone's Pauline. paying attention. <laughs> right, so I've gone back through through the bead and then I'm going to come back to the middle okay and pull that up now as you pull it tighter make sure you stretch it round so that it doesn't pucker if you just pull that yeah it'll pucker okay I see. yeah yeah but if you hold it tight against the bead yeah then it won't Got yeah? Yeah, I see. So it's just a little bit of care, and then I go back down through the hole, which is in there somewhere, because I've just come up through it. There you go. And all the way through the, pe the threads at the bottom. Now, you see this is going through quite easily, and you mentioned the ditch before. Yes. When you're sewing, the soutache thread, um, it's like braided itself, so yeah, you I can see. see there, there's a ditch running through the middle, there's a dark bit running through the middle. Yeah. And, and what it is, is it's wrapped around um, another cord, I suppose, yeah. or group of cords, yeah. and it's almost it's figure like of eight. Cord, isn't it's, it? Yeah, it's like figure of eighted around it. So the bit in the middle is, is just cross over, there's no, you're not trying to force it through a cord, mm. and that's why you ditch through the ditch, and then it just goes through yeah. so that's easily. That's great as well, because you can tell when you're not in it, can't you? Yeah. you just move it slightly. Yeah. Uh, just to let people know, we have got the wire work coming up in a little bit for you. Um, but before then, really quickly, let me squeeze in some cords. Have you seen this stuff? <gasps> oh, is this the... Oh, I adore this. How, how clever is that? Because that's wire. That's not cord. That's no, wire. it's wire. I love this. It's for... You can use it for all sorts, trust me. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely loads. Uh, we fab. kind of uh, bring it to you as a, as a pearl. Um, uh, it's medium, it. as it were. It's fab, isn't it? I can't remember there's a name for it. Gemma was using it the other day. Oh, I oh, can't remember the name for it. What do you think of that? I'll show you all like, what's in here. Sorry, you? the rest of it. <laughs> You've got two of these. We say it's like a, a pearl stranding yeah. medium. It doesn't have to be though at all. Uh, but it's just lovely to put your pearls on because it does kind of hold them in place. It's your pearl threading material. It's around 40 centimetres worth you will be getting. You've then got loads. Loads of your cords. Take a little look. You've got nylon 
You've got nylon in the B A. Look at that bright pink. That'd go gorgeously with the witch, actually. It would it? actually, yeah. Uh, you've got your hot pink. You've got your royal purple. You've got the green, and you've got the red. You've then got your leather cords as well. Uh, five meters worth on each of those leathers. And this is pink and red that we've got here. Ten meters worth on these reels. This, by the way, the nylon is 0.5 mil. So perfect oh, right. for things like yeah. micro macrame, yeah. etc. Um, let's give you a price on your pearl threading material. Should be. That's mm. good, isn't it? Pumpkin smiling. He's oh. happy. <laughs> let's make him really happy. Oh. <laughs> That's fab. Want one? Ah, your price today. What? Ten meters worth of leather. Go and see if you can buy ten meters worth of leather cord. And two of them. And two of these um, pearl threading metal uh, material. Gimp. Doesn't she call it yeah, gimp? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> French and wire it's sometimes known as as well. French wire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go and see. Rude. Go and see if she you can buy ten meters worth of leather <laughs> and two lengths, oh, uh, almost a meter's worth of that beautiful French wire or the pearl threading for that price. Mm. Anywhere else. Go and see. That's that's a fab price. Uh, let alone with all the nylons added on top of it. That is an amazing price, isn't it? Now, you see, I'd be using those two with some wire work. Would you? Yeah, and, mm. and incorporating it in the design, wrapping wire around leather cords. So oh, gosh. fantastic. Love that idea. Ooh. Fabulous. Uh, £7.95. You're going to have to be quick, though, because this is going quick. Congratulations, everybody. Lovely lady, let's continue. <laughs> Sorry. Right, my cobwebs are getting out of control. So I've got, I've, I went back through and then did the same the other side. So did two big stitches, t big stitch, little stitch, big stitch, exactly yeah. the same, till they meet in the middle. If you pinch them in the middle, you should be able to stitch through and you can pull it tight. Okay, so I'll show you that when we're doing the next one. So the idea being, we're going to build this up. I'm loving these two colours together, by the way. Fab, aren't they? Never mind the witch, but I'm loving these two colours. They're going to make a nice bangle. <laughs> right. So My director's just being hilarious. Is she? Ben. Ben. Sorry, Ben. Sorry, ben. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry I was in producer mode. Yeah. Sorry, Ben. Because you've just gone big stitch, little stitch. She instantly went cardboard box. Yeah, it dances. Big fish, little fish. I'm too old. <laughs> 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 What's that from? I don't know. <laughs> ben went from life. <laughs> it's a thing. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. You know, like kind of wave I'm, dancing, I'm, I'm, isn't it? I'm Things too like old. that. You know, like the lawnmower. Ooh, those sort of dance moves. Do you know what I mean? Stuck in the shelf. <laughs> Headbanger. <laughs> oh right. Okay. Yeah. Wrong. Wrong market. Wrong, wrong, ben. wrong market. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So you're heading back up. So I then, I'm then splitting them. So I've stitched them up, and I'm then going to separate the two at the top again. Okay. And I'm going to do big stitch, big stitch on the outside, little stitch on the inside, and that just helps you keep the curve. So we're going to go round a bit more till we've got to about the halfway point, and then see where we're going with the putting the next one in. Should come with an age an age thing on this show, you know. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so I'll be saying things and you lot will be going, you what? Right. right. So we've got to halfway. We're now going to go back through here. I tell you what, it's a whole different skill doing this than it is doing my work. I'm used to where my hands go with wire work. That's a lovely thing about learning a new medium, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I love it. You, I think you probably use different parts of your brain and your body. <laughs> and it's, This is nearly a sellout, by the way. Not Alison Tarry, um, 7 dollars the Thread Thriller. Fab. 
Right. This is quite a basic pattern of, of soutache. Mm. Right, we're now going to come around the other side to come back down to here. Okay. Then we're going to add another one in. So if you look at the bottom of her dress, yeah. we've got a series of, I think there's four beads yeah. that form the bottom row. Up, down, up, down. And, and, and that's it. That's my first layer, five beads, sorry. That's easy. And, and that's how we're doing it. And the whole thing is built up like this, the whole dress, in slightly different parts. So let me just show you how to do the two, and then we'll go on to... The next no bit, problem. Because we've got a lot of bits to cover. Don't forget for me either that this is being shown in the green so that you can yeah. see it. Obviously, we're using the blue on this. We've got a few left of the Threader Thriller, so about 10, and I've got loads in baskets, so please do um, get involved. <laughs> Your if cobwebs you <laughs> getting, the out cobwebs of control. getting out of control. Um, so, uh, very, very quick on the phones. Uh, plenty of the Wicked Witch left at the bottom. The uh, kit, if you want that. So, we're stitching in the ditch still. We're stitching in the ditch. I have to say, that's pretty much that's pretty much Sutash is, is stitching in the ditch. Um, whatever design you're doing, that's where you're heading for. Okay. It's a bit like macrame. There, there are some basic, basic principles, and then you can just take it and run. Are you still raving? Hello. Are you still raving? Yeah. <laughs> in the background. No. We, well, I'll be honest you with you. On? I'm hearing a conversation about five at the moment. Five. Produce, yeah, five. I've heard of five. Cool. Even though you are a headbanger. Even do though they, I'm a headbanger. Do they go through to the headbanger genre? Five? Are they big no. in that scene? No. <laughs> no, but okay. I've heard of them. <laughs> Go for now, I'm not big in that scene anymore. Is anyone big, big yes, in the but not in the scene, scene anymore? Actually, no, I was thinking of the, the other scene, but... Oh, the headbanging <laughs> scene. You've got too much hair, Alison. Oh, well, actually, having a lot of hair helps because you don't actually have to move your head more, much to get your hair. So you, your can, hair you can do a little bit. With and your hair goes for it. And your hair's going mad, What's yeah. That? Pete would be rubbish then. <laughs> you can't join that scene, Pete. Your head would come off, Pete. <laughs> yeah, you kind of grow out of it when your neck can't take it anymore. Oh, bless you. That's why I don't do any exercise, because my neck hurts sometimes. <laughs> so, I, you know, when you're doing a sit-up, yeah. You know, you're doing the sit up. My neck just cranes and it hurts. Oh, does it? Yeah, so. But you're not supposed to pull with your neck, that's your problem. Well, I'm obviously doing something massively wrong. <laughs> I have got loads of Sutash thread for you. Um, the reason I'm bringing this to you now is because I've got a couple of these left and that's it. Let's have a little look. <sighs> nice colours. Uh, can someone feel that? That in the air? Do you know what that is? That's a game. That's a game coming on. Uh oh. Alliteration game. Uh oh. Okay, I'll start. That's why I've moved this one round. <laughs> this one, my friends, is Audacious Aubergine. Ooh. Do I have to know the name of it though? No. To put, to put the word with it. No, you don't. You so I can make up. up a colour. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. The rules are very fast and free. Fast and free. Um, ben wants to make it clear though that you do have to say the colour that it is. You can't say, for example, that this is green. No, 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 but, but you yes. don't have to know the proper name no, for it because no. they have some very strange <laughs> no. names. Um, tempting Terracotta. Oh, you're good. Um, I have got... I know that's smog. What? That's called smog, isn't it? Is it? Oh, I like that. Well, that's <laughs> helping me. Smoking smog. Ooh. Like basious lemon. Oh gosh, you're good. Showing me up a bit, to be honest. <laughs> um, I have got nice. here. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful blue. That, no, no, you can't do that. What? I'm sorry, that's just cheating. What? That's just cheating. You can't do that. I'm calling the ref. Funnily enough, it's my game, and I'm the ref. <laughs> and I say that's a good one. <laughs> this one. Bumbling blue. Oh, don't show off. And I have got your granite grey. That's nice. beautiful. Nice. And um, you have got all of those colours in the pack here. That has just reminded me of something I'll tell you in a moment. But first, let's get your pricing, shall we? Should be £12.25 because you're getting two 
four, six, seven of these. Uh, don't forget you've got three yards on each. They're all three mil. Your price today is crashing to a naughty low. Wow, that's brill. Whoa! <laughs> that's even briller. Do you love that? Yeah. <laughs> Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. Get, get yourself started on a brand spanking new medium, because realistically, this is kind of all you need: this thread, needle, and your gemstones. Yeah, you don't even need any gemstones. You can actually suit attach without. Well, yeah. Well, of course you got yeah. You can suit attach without gemstones. Of course you can. But it goes so beautifully with gemstones. <laughs> I mean, look at that with that blue. Oh, gorgeous. With the beautiful blue. With the beautiful yeah. blue, isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, isn't it? That is beautiful. Matches beautifully. Um, the thing I need to tell you all is this, Sutash. I played this game with Linda, and I gave her an example of the illustration game. I explained the rules. I then gave her an example such as, you know, okay, beautiful blue. I then showed her this one, and hers was <laughs> chevron grey. <laughs> Oh, you <laughs> love, love Linda. You so, so got to love Linda. Whenever I see this colour, it makes me think of gorgeous Linda on that day. <laughs> and she's just, from Grey. She's so wonderful, isn't she? Yeah. She is so, so, so amazing. I think she's kind of one of the people for Jewellery Maker who opened up people's eyes to Sue Tash. Yeah, oh, she? she certainly did. If, if it hadn't been for her, I'd have never heard of it. No. Never heard no, of it. No, me neither. And I went, ooh. Absolutely fantastic, and she made it look so easy. Yeah, she really did make it look so easy. As you are now as well. Mm -hmm. um, lots of you coming in for this. Congratulations! Right. Don't forget, you can clean my hemo with this, etc. Uh, so do get involved because that price. Well, Brilliant. Saw Alison's face. She loves it. Seven ninety-five. <laughs> right. I'll not go forever with this because you'll get bored. But you see where I'm going with that. I see where you're going. Right. Yeah. And all you do is build your blocks up to make the dress dress of, of different numbers and what I was doing is I'd do so many and then I'd put it in there and think right okay well I need another one there and then that fills that gap yes and then I'll just use that bit at the end to just give a little bit of a, a tail a little, a little flick, flick of the like that. okay and then the next one I thought oh well I'll get I'll get that many of those in there so I'll do another block and then I, I kept them all separate you could suit ash straight onto this which is traditionally if you had a cab you'd put the cab on this and you'd work around it and yeah. it would always be on the backing yeah but I kept them all separate because I was juggling with and making this up as I went along yeah and it wasn't a fixed pattern so I kind of juggled them so that they could they could be tweaked and slightly turned in shape mm -hmm. and everything so you just do that for the dress and the sleeve mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You do lots of those. Lots and lots of those. Build them till you fill till, till, till you, you fill your it. thing. Fab. Right. The cloak. It's all the same stitch, pretty right. much. However, the cloak was very random. Now, what I tried to do with the cloak was with these beads. I didn't want to have the huge one in it. So what I did was I, I, I thought, well, right at the end we'll have some little ones. And I wanted it to be knobbly. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. the, the beads, these um, shell pearls, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So smooth, so beautiful, so much luster from them that you kind of wanted it to be a bit uniform. Yeah. Whereas these are great, they're different sizes, they're faceted, and the cloak's billowing. So you wanted to get that idea of it being I know exactly different what you mean. and wavy, but it's exactly the same. And all I've done is use double this and built it up in waves. So you've used double the suitash cord. Yeah. And then sometimes, if you've got a bit left over, and, I, and I'm, I'm trying to rush this because I want to get through all the little bits yeah, of don't what worry. I've done. Yeah, absolutely. Don't worry, you've got a good sort of 20 minutes anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Still got a lot to do. Don't worry, right, so what you can do is, is if you've got a little bit of a gap there, is you can fill it just with straight soutache, okay. just by doing that and soutaching through it. And just soutaching yeah. through. Okay. Or by coming down and, and pulling it under like that, and then you get a little bit of a filler. That's cute. Just in there. I see. Yeah? Yeah. So you start building that and then again you just stitch it through. And always when you finish a block, you're finishing it with the raw ends on the back, stitch them down, and then you can just snip them off. 
Yes. And you won't see it because it'll be hidden by the backing. So you don't have to worry about these being tidied away. What you do have to worry about is them sticking over the edge of something else so that they're seen. Okay. So, so long as they're hidden, hidden behind your design, it's fine. fine. Right. So do you want me to show you how to do that? Or I, I think the explanation, it's exactly the same stitch. You're putting it round, beading through. Yeah? Yeah. Are we happy perfect. with that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. The hat. If my director understands it, then we're good to go. And he says he does. Oh, she's looking gorgeous today, by the way. Helena. I no. <laughs> Oh. No, I'm not going to force you to come on camera. on camera. No, to Helena, I wouldn't. I've dream never of it. seen her move so fast. Oh, She's well, walking she in, wondering, didn't having a do, look. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but it, yeah, lovely, Alison. Oh, don't you look gorgeous today? So, oh, legged it out the door. It was only a compliment. I didn't mean to run her away. No. <laughs> uh, of course, you're looking beautiful as well behind the camera. Glenn, yeah. Look at him. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. A bit of eye candy for us hat, today. Isn't it? isn't it? It's the hat. And yeah. the beard. And the beard, yeah. <laughs> Can't say that. My husband's got a beard. So. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Your husband's lovely. Oh, he's a sweetie. He's so he great. is a sweetie. He's, 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 he's got man flu at the moment. Does he oh, watch no, it when he's at home? He has it on. Does he? Yeah, he doesn't always have the sound on, but he's usually got it on in the background. Hi, John. He doesn't always have the sound no. on. <laughs> he doesn't always listen to me. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> but it's usually got it done in the back. Some background. people would say that's a dream come true, <laughs> wouldn't they? Oh, watching your wife. I have to turn the sound off. I have told him he doesn't have to watch because oh, he's not a jewellery maker. Oh. So, you know, I wouldn't force him to watch it. It's nice, isn't it? But he does, bless him. I, I think yeah, he just likes to keep well soon, please. Yeah. Especially since I dragged him out of bed this morning to take the dog to the vet <laughs> before coming here. Right, so what I've done with the witch's hat. Let me grab a bit more thread. It's amazing what I use my uh, flush cutters for. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where did I put the needle? Uh-oh. You're right. Yeah. We lost it. <gasps> I put it safely in my scrap piece of fabric. Clever. Good tip to remember yeah. <laughs> where it is. Usually I pin it to me, but... Suddenly thought, oh my gosh, where did I put it? Or you can stip it. If you're using a, a macrame board, board they're very handy and you can stuck it in there, then it's safe. And you don't have to think, oh my gosh, where have I stuck it? Where is the is dog going to stand on it? Oh. Right, this is the hardest thing to do on telly. Do you remember you used to be able to get, I have no idea if you can still get them, there used to be a little diamond of very thin wire on, on a little stick and there was a, yes. a, needle, a threader? Yeah, you get them in your threading pack, you oh, like, you know, when you buy a pack for sewing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 99p yeah. or whatever, them? you can still oh, get right. them, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think my eyes are going, I need to get some of those. They're good, aren't they? <laughs> right, sorry. So, what I did was, I made the brim first, you can make it, you can make a really big one if you want. <laughs> oh, that's so fetching. Very, very, um, um, oh, Harrison Ford, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, isn't yeah. it? Having been through all the tunnels. Isn't it? <laughs> Lovely Pete now has just legged it. I'm well. having this effect on people, thank goodness you're don't, still here. Yeah, don't worry, we're <laughs> still here. <laughs> Um, he's just brought me something special. Please, oh, they're coming up in a bit. Gorgeous. Mm. I've been buying so many caps lately. It's a good to have though, aren't they? Do you know what? When I arrived today, I went and picked up a load of parcels. <laughs> you got a girl's best friend. I have. You? Oh, do you know what? They are absolutely incredible. <gasps> they are stunning. I was lucky enough to get the um diamond the faceted diamonds the black diamonds and today's the first time i've seen them i am in love yeah, they awesome. are you open the box and you just get sparkled at <gasps> they're Fab, aren't they? amazing i can't mm. wait to have a play with them i've got so much work to do this weekend if you do love a girl's best friend then next month i have got uh next month it sounds like a long way away but um, I'm going to have the girl's best friend on in quite a decent quantity. Are you? Mm. I absolutely... Oh, they're, they're amazing. Mm. I'll have to see if I can get something made before then. They're amazing. Definitely going in sterling, though. Mm. Um, right, all I've done is I've left my tail out. Is I've folded it over so I've got... <laughs> 
I'm banning him. <laughs> so I've got four layers. I can't. There you go. Four layers, and that's the brim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, got you. And all I'm doing is is stitching. Now, if you wanted to stitch um, something like the lime green, that wasn't for the witch, then then. Sorry, the luscious lime. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> um, then I wouldn't be using a black cord. I, I, I would actually be using something that was more fitting to it. Because whilst you won't see it in the middle, you will see it on the outer layers and, and on a more traditional or serious piece of jewellery. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Um, then, you, you know, obviously you don't want bits of black showing because you can see where the stitches are. Yeah, of course in the ditch. So I literally went along all of these. Do you think if we asked him nicely enough he'd make a cup of tea? Pete, uh, can you make uh, the talent some tea please? <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Do you know how she has it Pete? Um, why? Why no sugar? Really, really weak, please. Really yeah. weak. Thank you. 30 seconds, not even. Yeah, show it. If it's the colour of this board, it's perfect. Yeah. Please, thank you, Pete. If you drink tea and you look at it and go, ugh, that then horrible. it's perfect. Then it's tarry ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's spot on for me. Right, so I've just quickly stitched this to the end. Okay. Then we're going to take this one back and this is going to start forming our top hat. Now you can use this to form all sorts of different shapes. If you're just using this, if you put little beads in between, yeah. and you can build this up to be all sorts of things, to be fair. When I'm watching you do this, yeah. I feel relaxed. <laughs> I was going to say you're falling asleep. <laughs> it's so relaxing. It is very I need to try Sutash out, I'll be honest, I haven't, because obviously you need to have time to try it all, do you? But I really want to give it a go. I really, really do. I was sewing something on my days off, and I can't for the life of me remember what it was, but it was so relaxing. Yeah. Really is, isn't it? You can, yeah, you can do this. And if you're doing it free form, mm. again, if you have a look on the internet at some of the patterns that are there, you'll notice that there's certain different types. So those that are very um, formatted, regimental, um, and I don't mean military, but, but they're very um, symmetrical and everything, which is normally me. Mm. But there's a lot of free form stuff out there, which mm. I find so exciting. I really do. It's like, it's like micro macrame. I love the freeform stuff people do more than the regimented stuff. I get you. You know, uh, that's good, isn't it? Some of Deb's pieces, oh my gosh, Fab. they're absolutely incredible. Fab, isn't it? So what I'm going to do now is is add this row, and the, I've I've just got a normal sewing needle. Um, it, it's a slightly thinner one. You've got some. I think you've got some needles on the website. I don't know if they're still available. Possibly. You did have some proper ones. Um, but these little beads go through. Fab. Fabulous. Fabulous. Right. Look, I've done that wrong now. Now look what you made me do. Oh yeah, it's my fault that Alison. There's me trundling away. What I should have done is put the, put it under there. See, if you've gone wrong with your soutache, all you, you have to know. do is pull your thread back through. On the okay. Halloween show, on Halloween. I was going to say, are we allowed to mention that at all? Yeah, I'm going to. Excellent. Excuse me. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Honestly, the Halloween show, designer inspiration, you're getting Alison and the world's best hugger. It can only be she the owner. is amazing. Double whammy. Ah, how exciting is that? In fact, you get us all day. Yeah, you do morning show as well, isn't We're it? We're here all day. How exciting is that? I know. Not on the late, though. No. Not on the late. Sorry, Helena. Mm. Helena, our producer's switching over to the late oh. show for a little bit. Um, I've got to switch her out and get Liam for a bit, so oh. she won't be on this side. But I will. Hey. Have you sorted out your outfit? I have. Good. Got an outfit. Um, I've also um, got in place a couple of little things for the crew to wear. That I'm making. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
We've had a little message. We know. We, we know we what know. we're both. We've had a we chat. Know. That's so exciting. Uh, do tune in for that. Obviously, it's on the 31st of October. You're going to get so much variety. Really? So, so much variety. Oh, so much fun. Oh, yeah. So all I'm doing is adding the bit, these perfect for a little band. Absolutely perfect. And they fit in. And again, this bit you can use, you know, you could build that up into a nice bangle and have different stripes of different colours of beads. That's a nice idea. Do you know what I mean? Really nice. <clears throat> Almost a sea tash tennis bracelet style kind of yeah, would be nice yeah. as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't, uh, so I, when I say think outside the box, but also don't think these these techniques, if you could call them that, these Alison, Alison does soutache and probably murders it to the uh, traditionalists. Um, but don't, don't be restricted. Oh, you don't want to come off the end. Don't be restricted to what you do or what you've been told to do. Yeah, yeah. It, it, there are traditional, it's not right and wrong. There are traditional and non-traditional. I'll never say I don't care whether you're doing wire work. Um, sorry, pulling faces. It's all right. That's the first bead I've had that hasn't gone through the, the needle. Oh, right, okay, yeah. And I've now jammed it on the end of it. It's all right. Tell you what, whilst you're right. doing that, opposed to staring at you, um, you do that. We've had I... loads of messages in about these. They're coming at you right now, and they're beautiful. Take a look. Thank you, Pete, for my water. Oh, it's a star. Pete, can I trouble you for my torch, please? <laughs> Thank you. Not the tool. Thank you very much. Because. Oh, wow. What are these then? Aren't they beautiful? They are stunning. Lots of one at our gate. Really? Honestly. Oh, my god. Honestly, gosh. some of the highest quality I have ever seen. Take a look, please. That is incredible. Look at that. Doesn't that bit there look like amber? It does, oh, doesn't yeah. it? Doesn't it look like encapsulated nature? Let me show you some more, I just have to. They are amazing. The reason I've got the torch out, by the way, is because the lights in here are so intense and front on that you it's hard for you to see things like clarity. Um, but it's imperative on pieces like this because this is how you can see the quality. Look at this one. Do you know what? This sounds really, really sad, but... Does anyone else get really excited when my torch set comes on? <laughs> and when it comes out, so excited. And do you notice, I have to do the reveal. I can't just start when the camera comes on with the light on. Oh no, oh no, I have to do it dark and then it comes in. It's so cool. I hope at the end of the month you're gonna have a little cardboard cut out of a bat on it. <gasps> oh my goodness, you are clever. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Sorry. <laughs> I adore you, Alison, just so you know. <laughs> How fab is that? That. I've never seen Botswana like that. This is, honestly, oh, due to the quality. Mm. Honestly, that is why. This one, does that remind you of like a scene? <gasps> yeah, they are Doesn't stunning. It? They are absolutely beautiful. I could stand here and go through these one at a time on every single one, but I've just not got the time for it. I've already got people buying this and people loving not surprised. it. surprised. Now, it's done on carrot weight. When we talk about carrot weight, hey, did you get that question right in the quiz the other day, Helena? We had a quiz yesterday. We had a training. It was very interesting training. Um, <laughs> Helena's just been completely honest and gone, I did get that question right because I copied your answer. <laughs> okay. Um, we had a quiz last night. Um, quite an important quiz. It was quite a scary quiz. Steve was at the front. He was walking around to make sure we were all on form. And, and one of the questions was about carrot weight. And um, for those who don't know, a carrot is a weight for genuine gemstones, and it's five grams weight. So you can guess the kind of weight that you're going to be getting. And it's plentiful. So for 710 carrots worth, I in front of me have got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 
13, 14, 15 counts. You might have slightly more, you might have slightly less, but that's how many I have. Be honest, would you be happy to buy these cabs for three pounds each? Yeah. I would. Yeah. I really would. Absolutely I would. And people will have. People at home will have paid more than that. I have. Not for, I've never seen uh, uh, that like that, but I've certainly paid more than that for cabs. A lot more. What I need to explain to you, because I'll, I'll show you a few more of these, what I need to explain to you is, we will always do you the best, best price we can. Always. Of course we will. But, um, and, and the price that you might be expecting for Agate, um, you probably will be happy with a £2 price per one. The quality of this, I'll be honest, is not indicative in the price. Look at the quality. Look at this. Alison, you've yeah. been part of the jewellery maker family for quite some time now. You used to watch us, didn't you? I used to watch you for, well, since the first few weeks of you being on. Yeah. And I've been guest designer for over a year now. So, I'm nearly at my year anniversary. I oh, know, you weren't long after nearly, me, really. Nearly, no, oh. nearly. Um, 1st of October, 1st of November I started. Don't forget, 1st of November, designer inspiration, birthday. One year we've been at a show on oh, the 1st of really? November where I've been amazing birthday deals. Oh, yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. Um, you, so I'm asking that because you've obviously seen a lot of Botswana Agate. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we have it on quite a bit. Yeah. But genuinely, quality wise, have you, have, Sorry. Have you seen anything like this? No. No. Look at that one at the top that's, that's almost white. You've got lots of different shapes as well, oh, don't forget. I've got that. drops in here as well. Wow. Beautiful, isn't it? I would never have said, if someone said, oh, what's this? I'd never have said Botswana again. Never have guessed Botswana, would you? That's no. stunning. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Um, Alison, if I bought these to you at £2 each, you'd be chuffed as chips, wouldn't you? Absolutely. So I will. Your price today, for all of them, just £24.95. <gasps> I lied. They're not £2 each. They're one pound sixty-ish pence each. That's brilliant. That is so so good, isn't it? And, and they are so. You can do so much with them. Yeah. You can. You know. You can make so many individual. Yes. You can use each one as an individual feature pendant. You could use each one in a cuff bracelet. You could mix and match them. You could make earrings because there's enough there that a similar size that mm. you could do earrings you could make a stunning really gem heavy piece yeah wow yeah they're fabulous you can make a really big statement ring and of course great for suitash fantastic wire for wrapping etc wire wrapping Polymer. you see you see still a, still a wire worker at heart because because oh. it wasn't the first thing that came to my yeah. mind even though i'm sitting here with suitash yeah, yeah absolutely perfect for suitash congratulations everyone who's getting their hands on that 24.95 for those cabs it's better than just having one in your collection because yeah. you don't have to be so precious do you 24.95 congratulations right now I've gone along and I've caught in all of my band, yes, my headband, the headband. And then all I did was I went along, row by row, basically doing each one slightly smaller than yes. the previous one. Got you. And that gave me the triangle on top of the hat. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And I've done that without actually taking it off, so you get no wastage. That's good. So literally you just zigzag backwards and forwards. You don't have to go all the way through. If you angle, I'm gonna cut myself. If you angle the needle correctly. If you angle the needle, so you go through the stitch and I'll do it that way. And then you come out between them. I get you, yeah so, I see. So when it's built up right at the very top of it, you you're not all going through. all the way through and thinking how on earth does my needle fit through there. That's fab. And then you just make sure you go back in a similar place so you don't leave it out and you come back up Okay. and then, okay. So that's how you do that bit of it. Wonderful. We'll go on to the face and the hands fab. and then we've got the broom. How are we doing for time? Okay, pokely. <laughs> How are we doing for time, director or producer? Eat. Pull it down. 
five to ten minutes okay. all right for you. Okay. Right, okay. We'll do it pretty quickly. Okay. I thought it was going to be a bit tight to do it. So it always is a tough yeah. one to get on. Especially when with. Yeah, yeah. Right, the hands. All I've done for the hands, dead easy, this won't take long, mm. is I've started off a curl and again I've left the tail hanging out the back and I've literally just made a loop. Okay. Okay? I've threaded my needle through from the back and I've gone through almost straight across, turned it round a little bit more making sure all the ditches are in the same place, gone through again. Gone round a little bit more, and I think I did about four loops. And don't worry about it going oblong, because you're not looking for a straight, I mean, they're not hand hands, they're very stylized. Yeah. But that's fine, because let's face it, she's a, a bit cartoony. Yeah, of course. Our, our witch. Okay, so you go through, and then when you get to, to what's big enough for your for your witch because they'll all be a bit different in size yeah. you leave your tail because you're going to tuck that underneath your sleeve okay. your sleeve will be a piece like that so you'll tuck that underneath there mm -hmm. and stitch it onto it I see don't forget now that we're on the hand we are on the green yeah yeah, so, so the green, this would be black and that yeah. would be green. Got you. And that's how you do that little bit of it. And you cut it and then you've got the tails, again, would be hidden at the back. At the back, fab. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Now what I did do was I did one that sat equal and then I made one definitely at the back. So you got the idea of one hand was in Step. at the front and yeah. one that was at the back. There's little things like that. Yeah. That shows you put thought into it, doesn't it? Well, yeah, because it would, it would look all right. Why am I losing my flush cutters to cut that? I don't know. Because they're there. Got right, so we like do two them. hands. Oh, have you got some more in? Ooh. Low quantity, but we have got some in. I was going to say, I've just had a, another pair. Not because the other ones are broken, but because I needed another pair. Really? Yeah. Just well, I've, I've, I've now developed my... I'm now, I'm now stocking up my travelling kit. So I've got one at Clever. home, one travelling, one on the boat. <laughs> Wherever we go, I'll start leaving kits. Right, the face. The face was fun. I did the same as for the hands. So I started off and did a circle. And then it sort of became slightly misshapen. Okay. Which is what you want, because you Cock want to... Nose. Yeah, so you, so you want to sort of teardrop almost shape for the main body of the face that doesn't sound right does it i know what you mean you're looking for a the main teardrop part. for the cheek the eye yeah. portion everything bar the chin and the nose basically yeah so it's this section here that's can you see it's almost a teardrop shape yeah so literally i went round and round i'm going to jump a couple of steps here no problem And you make it slightly, see how I've, I've got a bit of a gap there? A little gap? Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. so there's a little bit of a gap Tiny up there. Tiny bit. And by doing that, that's how you'll start getting... The shape. The shape. And if I put that through now, I've pushed the gap around, and we've now got something that's slightly... Yeah, I see. Yeah. Edging into that shape. So you built that up to get your whole face, your whole face. And I'm rushing this now because I don't know we haven't got much time. Don't worry. Don't worry, we don't okay. rush you. We built that up. We've had someone message in about the cabs. Right. Saying... Hi all! Bought a moot kite cab in Brixton for £12.50! So those Botswana cabs are an excellent value for money, lol. And that's from uh, Jackie. Hello, lovely lady. Thank you for that. Do you know what? Genuinely, £12.95 for a Mukai cab is a really good price. Yeah. I've seen agates the same size and, sh oh no, larger actually, that's a lie. Larger, slightly larger than this in a very well-known crafting stall. £17.95. Yeah. 
I've paid over ten pound for cabs before. Just over one pound one. sixty in this. Mm. Thank you for that lovely lady. Yeah, I might have been stocking up on my cabs lately. You've been doing some blooming good deals. We have, haven't we? And we don't generally have them that often, do we? No, we really no, don't. you've been doing some. I got the dendritic um, agate. Agate ones the other oh, way. Gosh, gosh. The other day. Mm. Right. So let's imagine that then sits under our hat. Yeah. Yeah. It would be slightly bigger for that hat anyway. Then I kind of made a loop for the chin okay. and went round again. Note I'm still working off the, off the, yeah, the real, stain, for want yeah. of a better word. Yeah. Do you say stain? Skein? Yeah. Skein? Yeah. 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 We've had someone message in, when's the competition launch? Honestly, this is one of the biggest competitions we've done in a long time. Um, it's going to be up for you in the next designer inspiration and let's just say it's something for you to get really involved with. I can't believe the prizes. I know. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> right. So just by doing that, I've created a bit of a knobbly chin. Okay. Very simply. And then we did the same for the nose. Okay. And then we've just got the broom. The broom with that Have obsidian cord. I know. You can make your chin as big as you want it, as sticky mm -hmm. out as you want it, yeah. as knobbly as you want it, and then just fetch your cord back round and do very similar for the nose, but with the nose I very definitely wanted it bent and crooked. Got you. Got so, so I actually stitched it so that it would be... Super crooked. Pulled it, yeah. Good. Whoops, there you go. That's fab. Okay, so did you get the general idea of how to make that? And then again, all these components are then stitched together through the st through the ditch between each of the components, and you stitch. I'll show you in a second. Okay. And then that's how you get. So you get look. you get a basic idea. I so mean that's very see. rough and ready, but you get a basic get idea, idea of a ah. of a chin and a crooked nose. Beautiful. So that's how you do the, the face, sits. and you, obviously it's attached to the hat. There you go. You, you get the that. idea now, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. I got it. Okay. And now the broom. And now the broom. This is your broom section. I love that. You still got a bit of wiring, didn't you? Even though it's suit up, get a bit of well, wiring. I, had, I, had, I, I used a bit of a, be, uh, a findings pack. Yeah, fab. That's all it is. Um, I am selling know, the findings pack soon by itself. Ah, there you go. The very fine three mil. Um, yeah, the feather heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That most people think, oh, what am I going to do with those? Yeah. You make a broomstick, obviously. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> right, so with my brown, and I don't want to open another thing of soutache so we'll have a we'll have a green tree okay literally for the same as the bottom of the hat I literally did I think it was only four layers yeah it looks like it like that make sure they're all facing the same way and stitch backwards and forwards oh yeah now you want to do it quite roughly because you don't they're not necessarily smooth, you want it a bit knobbly, you know, make it so that it pulls a bit, have a little bit sticking out, but put some texture into it, okay. yeah? So, so you've stitched that, and then what we did for the tails... So this, this section here. Yeah. The, the, the broom itself. Yeah. The brush bit of the broomstick, the brush. Right. With those and the strand, which I've moved somewhere. Have you put them somewhere safe, I think? I've put them somewhere very safe. How bizarre. We'll okay, use we'll use those. You will use we'll the use green as well. well. Well, all I did was on the head pins, I've got some coppery ones here. I have got a findings pack coming at you later. By itself, we very rarely do that. Yeah. So if you need to stock up on your findings, 
do stay tuned. Yes. I love these findings, Pat. Fab, aren't they? So versatile. Mm. You know, you want a little bit of wire for these tiny little beads and these little two You've mil beads, yeah. and they go through. And so what I did was I threaded, and I won't cut this strand up because I'll go everywhere, about that many, and I did two or three of the fine, okay. and then I did the same with the big ones. The obsidian. Yeah. Brown obsidian in that kit. We have oh, still got some brilliant. available at that astonishing price point. That's a fabulous price point. All you wire workers out there, have a go. You'll be surprised. And I'm all for mix, mixing it as well. Yeah, it's nice to mix your mediums. Have, oh, uh, yeah. Have a mix. Have a mix. Have a play. So however long your witch is, mm. you could make smaller witches, yeah. in which case I'd probably make the broomstick just out of the teeny ones, which are absolutely divine. Mm. So put them on to whatever length you want. Bear in mind you want to go over the end of the broom yeah. so, that you, so that your stays, yeah. broom stays, uh, come higher because then you're going to wrap them onto there. To attach it, I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I took the end and I just wrapped it. Just the end of the tail? Yeah. Of the head pin and wrap it around. Around the head pin to secure the beads on. Back. So I got left with several of those. Yeah. And like I say, I literally put them on there um, and then I got another one of these and I, oh no, I got about three of those and, and I wrapped it round and twisted security. it and made it secure in place. That is so fab. Honestly, guys, you can create this piece by the wonderful Alison Tarry and it could be a new medium for you. Why not give it a go? Alison, thank you so much. All right. It's lovely to see you doing something so different. <laughs> yeah, not why. I wire. love it, I know. It's a bit annoying careful. though, isn't it? Because she's genuinely good at everything now um you are uh, i've still got a few of the kits left after the break fast furious and launching the spooktacular competition Ooh. see you in a minute you can now keep in touch by following jewelry maker on twitter get interactive with jewelry maker here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call centre. The new studio store. The experience just got better. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. The latest edition of the Lure Book is now available. This highly regarded gemstone encyclopedia features over 1,300 pages full of facts and knowledge. Discover the places, the people and the stories behind every gemstone. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Tiger's Eye is a gemstone that can be masculine or feminine. It comes in like these luscious caramel colours and when you get it in fuchsia, that's my favourite when it's bright pink. Love that and the chatoyancy makes it so different, it sort of follows you around the room so it makes for some really interesting pieces. Tiger's Eye is one of the first gemstones that I was ever exposed to. My mum bought me a beautiful Tiger's Eye bracelet um, when I was away at university and I've worn it ever since. It has a lot of personal value to me. Not only that though, the jewellery maker Tiger's Eye which you can get exudes so much chatoyancy and, and more chatoyancy than I've ever seen from any other Tiger's Eye. The carrot weights are brilliant, you can get it in dyed qualities but it's the natural essence of the gemstone which I think people find so attractive about it and that's probably one of the reasons why it's one of our biggest sellers.
Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. Creepy. What other ghostly impressions can we do? Mm. Hello everybody, it's Halloween! No, don't worry, you haven't gone to sleep and woken up three weeks later. Um, do not worry, um, we're getting ready for Halloween because let's face it, face it, as makers, we have to start things early, don't we? And we haven't got long until Halloween at all. Today, joining me is the absolutely inspirational and oh so genuinely lovely, Alison Terry! Thank you so much. You are, though. You're genuinely a very lovely person. Oh, you are. That's lovely to I say. I say that's where from. <laughs> um, I have got the gorgeous Alison Terry with me today. And I am launching your competition in... Moment, moment. But first, Fast Furious. Let's give you some treats. Where are we starting? Small quantity. Small quantity. Tanzanite. Small quantity. Listen. Tanzanite is a gemstone that we, sadly, are unable to get anymore. Now, that might be some of you thinking, what, hang on, wait, is it gone, is it gone? We've been waiting, we know it's going, we know it's about to go, we know it's one locational, we know yields have dropped. Is this uh, going to, is it gone officially for good? pretty much right now. I'll be very honest with you, we have tried to get our hands on more, but due to number of things, um, prices rising, yields, scarce, scarce isn't even the word for it. Um, genuinely, we actually cannot get our hands on anymore at this time. That means that the tanzanite we have in our vaults, in our cupboards, in our lockers, um, at the moment, <laughs> our cupboard, um, our gemstone cupboard, um, no, in our workshop that we have all of these in, in our warehouse, what we have right now is all I can say we will have. I can't bring this to you now and say, which I can do sometimes, I can say, oh, this gemstone is going to be a sellout, we sell out of it, and then you go, don't worry, we'll get you some more in. We'll get you some more in. Or I've got the same gemstone in a different shape or a different size or whatever. I can't say to you right now that this might not be the last time you ever see this Tanzanite strand. It might, genuinely, this might be the last time you see it as a stone, full stop. We can't get any more. We can't. We cannot get any more of this. We might do, who knows, you know, a new yield might be found. Um, all I can say to you is, at this moment in time, with our last order, we tried to get tan tonight and we couldn't. It's as simple as that. There is a bit of a queue on the phone. Don't worry though, because I've got to be honest, web bidders are checking out very, very slowly today. So don't worry. Uh, I don't know if this is what's going on there or what, but don't worry. If you are on the phone, you have got the opportunity. It is low quantity, low quantity. I, um, I've got more than last chance saloon though. So you should all have the opportunity if you want it. Um, it is a one locational gemstone. It's completely unique in, it, in its, form and it's okay. I told you that we had that training um, yesterday. Uh, we were joined by some, honestly, kind of like the royalty in the gemstone world. There was some, a pair of gentlemen there who were just so awe-inspiring because they were ace, um, but also 
I just stood there and spoke about Opal constantly to them, which was good because they loved it as much as I do. They um, have found, wait for it, American Fire Opal. How cool is that? So I just stood there and talked about o Opal with them. Um, Glenn Lira was there as well. Um, and I was talking to him about this gemstone and he says some of the pieces that he has, he's not even gonna do anything with them. This is your town's night. He's just gonna keep them, which I would as well. This is your town's light. Genuinely could be one of your last times to ever own it. Congratulations, £17.95. Uh, it's about to sell out though, so do be quick if you wish to have it, if you wish to own this beautiful gemstone. It's beautiful, congrats. Now let's have a little look. Connor Sir Choice. Say that to me again, sorry, sweet pea. Connor Sir Exquisite, Unique, Individual. Only been seen once before, and a Lucite. Alison Tauri. Yes. Let's play a little game. Uh-oh. <laughs> and a Lucite, three words ago. And a Lucite. Rare. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exclusive. It's gorgeous. You so I'm sorry to laugh. <laughs> You sounded like you were on a perfume advert then. Because <laughs> <laughs> you Rare. kind of went a little Exclusive. bit... Exclusive. Exclusive. Rare. So is that where you walk off into the distance with the gemstone hanging down the back <laughs> of your <laughs> local yeah. back? Yes. <laughs> I adore that. <laughs> You're right. Why exclusive? Why is that a word that springs to mind? Because, it, because you don't get it much. You don't no. see it much. No. You know, I've seen it in rough. I don't think I've ever seen it in, in the... You know... Um, I think I've seen it in circle in, in circles, in rounds, but I don't see, think I've ever seen it in the pairs. Can I? I love that. If you haven't seen it in the pairs, do you mind just shimmying over here? You know that I can't oh, shimmy shimmy. Yeah, you don't have to specifically <laughs> shimmy. <laughs> but genuinely, in this shape, there's something very, very special about the appearance of them that I personally believe they're not getting at home. Right. Oh, because you've got all the um, inclusions in them, mm -hmm. and the clarity is amazing. And the colour, I love the colour of it. I know, look at that one. That's phenomenal. And then that one next to it is a slightly different colour. That's what I like. That They're all, green. yeah, you've got greens, you've got oranges, you've got reds, you've got, you've got the darker tones coming through. That's and that, amazing. And it's natural as well. I know. It's good, isn't I it? love and Thank I, you for that. I haven't lady. seen that much and I love it. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen it that close up. No? No. Do you see now why it's a connoisseur's choice? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I totally do. It exploded onto the scene in the gemstone world really relatively recently. It was only 2002 that the gem world got to know about this gemstone. It was launched at the uh, Tucson Gem Trade Fair, which is a huge gem show. Um, but it was actually only 2002, and the popularity is absolutely astonishing. You know what, what's going to happen now, don't you? She's going to do a daft price, isn't she? Oh, the torch has come out. Look at the beauty. Can I say, can I say as a, someone who comes from the other side of the, the camera, shall we say? Yeah, yeah. You get that torch out. When I was over there, I could see that, yeah. but you can't see it at home. No, you can't. But that's basically what I was seeing without the torch is what you're seeing with the torch. Yes, exactly. And I know, I know people say, oh, well, you're only going to get it if you walk around with the torch, you know. Yeah, no, no. But no. you don't, because that's what you were seeing without the torch. But you can't see it through the cameras. Because the cameras in here kill certain pieces, yeah. kill certain layers, and the lights are so intense in here, they just hit the front of the gemstone and that fires back yeah. at you. But obviously when you're walking around, there's not just one light source yeah. at you, like there is in here. Yeah. Light's all around you, which is why when you get the torch out, it gives you more of a feel of what you're actually getting. Yeah. Your price today for this exclusive gemstone is just £19.95. pence. Really? Genuinely. <gasps> how amazing is that? That is incredible. I don't think I've ever seen it that low. I, it's one I've, I, I haven't got yet, but I will get when I get the chance, because I think it's stunning. 
I do I would, think it's stunning. I would say to you, if you've never tried Andalusite before, get this strand, genuinely, mm. just to give it a go. 30 day money back guarantee if you can't stand it. Um, but You will. I th you'll you'll love it. it. You'll love it. I'm sure you'll <laughs> keep it. But if you don't, because the thing is, we don't have it on often at all. And if it's one that maybe you're not that au okay with, and maybe, you know, you see it now and again, you think, oh, I've never had a chance to get that. At that price point, now is your chance. £19.95. Congratulations, everyone. Fab. Go on and move on, because I've got plenty to get in. Challenge strand. One of your challenge strands. Yeah, it's three o'clock. <laughs> Ooh. That's gorgeous, that is. Look at this. Stunning piece. Look at it. That is your burgundy cultured potato pearls. Five mil on these ones. EDP65. That is your code on these. Beautiful, rich, bronze colour, aren't they? Gorgeous with antique bronze. Yeah. Your price point today is a bit gorgeous too. Oh. And those are almost perfect. They are so gorgeous, those pearls. You look at pearls like that, and, and I'm sorry, if you're wearing that piece of jewellery, no one's going to go, oh, you're wearing potato pearls. They're not, they look round. Yeah. They, they do, do genuinely look they round. Really do, don't they? Well, they are. Approximately five mil, it says. Yeah. Yeah. Not six they're by beautiful. five. Five mil. With pearls, if they're round, the price goes up. With pearls at the moment, and I've made you aware of this before, you know actually that I, uh, <laughs> I probably tell people at home far too much, to be honest, but I've already told you this. We've had meetings about pearls upstairs, um, about how the price of pearls has gone up so dramatically that our prices are going to have to reflect that because we've not been able to get them at the standard price that we used to be able to. So, when we are, because I've seen some trans, you know, I said this to you the other day, I mentioned it to the management actually, which, you know, I, I said to Scott, um, Scott, I see something, there's a pearl strand, there's quite a high price, isn't it? Like, and he said to me, we're running out of the older stock that we had, and now we're getting the newer stuff in, and it is a slightly higher price point, and obviously, if we're buying it at a slightly higher price point, we have to reflect that. So this is one of those older pieces, which is why you're getting it for 6 95 I would say to you, genuinely, bottom of my heart, around Christmas time, don't be expecting, do not be expecting to get a perfect round set of pearls for 6 95 I'll be honest with you, it's not gonna be happening. Burgundy cultured pearls for you. Now, that is one of your beautiful challenge strands. Have you had it? An option? No, yet? I haven't no. had the strand yet. That's, that's what I say. It's three o'clock. I love, love this. <laughs> and the next one. Now, you actually chose this next one, didn't you? I, that, that blew me away. That's gorgeous. I am so pleased that you chose this because it's one of my favourite gemstones. Is it? Yeah, top three. Top three. Opal, Zircon, this beauty. I love this. Why did you pick it? Um, I had Imperial Topaz in my wedding jewellery. Oh. So it's got a little soft That's spot for so it. Sweet. Imperial Topaz is a very special gemstone. Um, have you got that slide for me, Director Ben? There it is, lovely to play. Um, there's a few pictures I just wanted everyone to have a little look at. First off, that description in the centre is actually written by Steve Bennett himself about this gemstone. He says, without question, Imperial Topaz is one of the world's most coveted gemstones due to the pleochrism, um, also their mesmerising natural colours, um, effortless flow from the vibrant uh, yellows to the orange. Occasionally you see the orange to pink as well. Imperial Topaz is one of those gemstones that all gem collectors and connoisseurs seek to one day acquire. And that's what it is. It's an inspirational gemstone. Do we sort you through some of the pictures that you've just seen? One of those pictures with the gentleman mining, that's Steve. Steve. Steve Bennett. Um, you've then got a picture there of the local area. It's only 40 kilometres away from the mine at the top. 
Um, you've then got the gent in the tractor. You see that big lake behind him? Yeah, that's the mine. That is the mine. Because don't forget, it fills up with water around eight months of the year and we can't even get to it. And then you've got a picture of the roof there. It may just look like mud, but that is the roof of this gemstone, which is why it can be very, very tricky to find because the colouring of it mixes in so much with the surrounding area. It's a gem we don't have on often because of things like that. You can see how hard it is to mine because it's hard to even pick out. Um, you can see that the mine is a massively deep pool for eight months of the year. That lake that you saw is the mine itself. We can't <laughs> get to it a lot of the time. So it's a very exclusive gemstone. And as Steve put it so beautifully there, that it is a gem collector and connoisseurs, they do seek to one day acquire this beautiful gem. And today could be your day at this price point. Nobody was expecting that, were they? What? <laughs> I wasn't. Oh, this is getting serious. Alison Terry was about to have a brew sip. I was. And stopped and just put it down. The brew was down. <laughs> what wow. do you think of that? That is incredible. I waited and waited and waited before the wedding because I wanted some Imperial Topaz and I'm like, please put some on, please put some on. And that would have been absolutely perfect for it. Stunning, oh, isn't it? That's amazing. Absolutely exceptional, isn't yeah. it? Unique, individual, just stunning. Do you love it? Look at you! <laughs> She's got itchy fingers. She's <laughs> kind of doing the, come here, come to me. <laughs> Thank you. Good choice, Terry. Gorgeous. Good choice, I love it. Um, so those are two of her challenges. She'll have a little play with those and we'll have a little look at the end. Loads of you coming in for that Imperial Topaz. Congratulations. Uh, if today is your time to acquire a connoisseur's choice. Um, now, ladies and gents, we have been waiting and waiting and waiting. I'm happy to tell you, we're going to launch the competition in the next few moments. So stay exactly where you are. I can't tell you exactly what the competition is yet. What I can say to you is, let's just say this kit could go a long way to helping you out. What I will also say to you as well is that we've got wire in the kits, a lot of wire. And remember, if you can, we don't have hardly any in stock. In fact, Alison, I was, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm quite nosy. And I was being nosy earlier and I was listening to your conversation. You weren't having a quiet, like, conversation. You and Where Laura having a chat oh. about you making... Oh, how weird. Just I said Laura. She walked past. Woo! <laughs> um, um, you were talking about your Christmas tree. It was. You want to make a wire work Christmas tree. Yes. And you said, but I know we don't have very much wire in, do we? <laughs> and she said, could you make it with beading thread? <laughs> because we don't have wiring at the moment, do we? Hopefully we'll have some by then. Fingers crossed. Um, we've got plenty here for you though. If you're running low on wire, now's your opportunity to get it. And this is going to help, isn't it, with the... Might do. <laughs> with the competition. Yeah. Um, have a little look at the wires that we have here. Loads and loads and loads. 10 metres worth of your 1 mil, 10 metres worth of your 0 0.8, 10 metres worth of your 0 0.4. I then have for you, oh, 0 0.4 again. Let me guess. Another 0 0.4 and two 0 0.8. So, all in all, actually, I've got 20 metres worth of your 1 mil, 20 metres worth of your 0 0.8, and 30 metres worth of your 0 0.4. Three of our most popular gauges. Indeed. Indeed. Price slash. <laughs> Wait for the gems. This, I need to make this very, very clear. This is a luxurious, beautiful um, collection of gemstones. I'm going to give you a heads up. If you're online now, you're going to be able to see the price already, aren't you? The should be price. That should give you an idea of how luxurious and how exclusive this is. We're gonna be dropping it as low as we can. 
get ready for the gems. Beautiful collection here. Take a look at those. What unusual drillers. I these. know, they're fab, aren't they? Aren't they absolutely wonderful? Can you see that the drill hole's really unusual? It goes in at an angle. Can you see that? It doesn't go straight through, which means that they kind of stack up. Yeah, they overlap. They slightly overlap, don't they? It's fab. 160 carats worth of these. <laughs> okay, I've just seen the name of these. These are your Black Agate Disco Ovals. Disco Ovals. I love taking my agate to the disco. <laughs> 160 carats earth you've got there. Um, I've then got your black agate drop style chips. Uh, that's not as cool as the disco really, is it? Pop into the disco, drop it like it's agate. Um, you've got 200 <laughs> carats worth there. Um, you then, oh these are so elegant. The drops they? are amazing. The drops are stunning. Oh my goodness, can I just point out the drill hole on these is massive. Yeah. Isn't it? It took it took point eight with no trouble and Did some it? of them took one. Wow. But not all of them. But but they definitely took point eight. That is a good going. Yeah. Um what what's my carrot weight on these ones? 120 carats worth um, of your black faceted drops. They are elegant beyond belief, aren't they? They're really just a bedazzling, a beautiful, beautiful gem. I've then got, pow, pop of color. Oh, I know. For Bang. when you want to rave at the disco. What was that? What was the rave move we were singing about, we were talking about before, can you remember? Headbanger. No? Yeah. Can you not remember? Frog or something, wasn't it? Frog. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Oh, that's it. Was. it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> frog. Ah, uh, yes. The Head frog banger. move. <laughs> Did it do that? Oh, yeah. Right, fair <laughs> um, You've got your gorgeous orange shell here that we have. It's bright frosted shell. Six mil that we have on these. I then have got for you... Ooh, peach moonstone, and this is serious size actually. Six mil, oh, sorry, eight mil on this. Faceted eight mil. Eight on these mil. Ones. Faceted. You've got your beautiful moonstone and you've got your sunstone here as well. So the moonstone, you can see your six mil. You've got that shiller, that sheen. I couldn't believe the shiller that was on those little moonstones. Absolutely incredible, mm. incredible. It's really wonderful. Yeah. It's quite a warming feel mm. almost, isn't it? It, it is. Mm. It's almost like, um, you know, a, a fire in the hearth and you just see the colours shifting. Uh, you know, when you've got a real fire and you can just see the colours shifting with those oranges to yellows. It's one of my favourite things about A real you. fire. Oh, what, my no, madness? just about you. When you start to tell all these stories and you say, can you imagine a fire? Yes, Alison, I can. <laughs> I feel like, have you ever thought about going into something like Jack and Norvey? No. No? <laughs> my producer has just said, what is Jackanory? Oh my oh, dear. Yeah, no. get this, Director Ollie. She did not know who, um, who was it? Timmy Mallet was. She'd never heard of Tilly Mallet. You've worked with Timmy Mallet? Oh, you are. Dropping. I officially find you very cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, I have got loads and loads of treats for you here. 20 metres worth of your 1 mil, 20 metres worth of your 0 0.8, and 30 metres worth of your 0 0.4. I have got your disco agate, your drop agate, I've got your faceted drop agate, I've got your shell, I have got here your beautiful sunstone, and I've got your moonstone. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the amount you're getting here. Generally, we will do maybe three strands, maybe four strands, and we might do you 20 meters worth of wire. We've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 meters worth here, 70 meters worth. And then you've not got three or four gemstones. You've got six mm. strands. <laughs> Sorry, that weird six was me trying to work out four plus two, which <laughs> actually um, <laughs> escaped me for a moment. This is a serious amount that you're getting. 
the price should be. Now that is a much higher price point than we would usually expect to start on. The other day we started on one that was £43, so that is a really high price point. We discussed going down and how far we could go down. £31.95 was the price that you just saw on your screen. There it is. That is the price we discussed. We then were made very, very aware that we've got a decent enough quantity of this and so therefore we wanted to, if we could, take it a little bit lower. We had to ask management about this, they then had to have a chat and then we got the AOK. -okay. We have squeezed every single penny we possibly can out of this. Your price drop in total is incredible. Your price today is just... <laughs> God blimey, that's good. That's a cracking price. Hello everyone. That. I've just given you, back in your pocket, 28 pounds. Everyone's gone, now we're back on the wire work. <laughs> 28 pounds. 90 pence saving. What? Your price for the whole thing today is only 29.95. You are almost getting yourself a half price deal because you're getting 28 pounds 90 off. Let's round it up and say it's 29 pounds off. Look at your price. Ah, I love it. Come with me, come with me. Hello, lovely Alison. Hello, gorgeous. I've still got that that price. I think that is incredible. That's a cracking price. Do you love it? I do. This kit was incredible. Too much. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, oh my Too gosh, much. I can't I love. pile it all on. So I did make a few extra pieces because those drops were stunning and I thought I can't just hide them in a big piece. They need Gorgeous. to be on their own. They need to be a piece on their own. Dazzling. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I, I, I loved that. Uh, this kit's going to be a sellout within the next few minutes. Be quick if you want it. And it is quite important for our competition. Ooh. This competition so is fan dabby dozy <gasps> massive. It is so, so exciting. It's your chance to get involved. Look at that. You can see it much better now with the bag in, can't you? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> now, uh, this is the piece we're going to talk about, not only for the make today, but also for the competition. This is your chance to get involved. Take a little look at our wonderful competition for Halloween. Ooh. Listen, all you have to do is watch this wonderful lady create a wonderful pumpkin and you can get involved by creating your own. Create your own wirework pumpkin inspired by this lovely lady Send it in to us by at the very latest, the 30th of October, to the hub at jewelrymaker.com. And on Halloween, on the 31st, on the Designer Inspiration Show, I think, we will pick the winners. Sometime on that day, anyway. Sometime <laughs> on that day, it will definitely be. We will so announce the winners. Hello. Do, do they get to know what the uh, prizes. prizes are? That's just Oh, sorry. It's all right. Didn't know if we were allowed to. I'm sorry. Yeah, we are. She can't get the staff. I'll She's do been it struggling now. all after. I'll do it now. <laughs> First prize. No, let me do it this way round. In reverse Third order. Third prize. A mystery bead scoop, which people go crazy for when they we sell them on the show. Absolutely ballistic. Absolutely. Which is a great. Which is great. Which is great. Which has been the pri prize for a lot of competitions in the past. Th been the number one prize. Yeah. yeah. Third prize. Second prize is a £30 gift voucher. I know. I couldn't believe when I saw these prizes. Faff, isn't it? For real. First place. A place on one of our workshops. You get to come here. You get a free place on one of our workshops. You have a buffet. You get to meet us all here as well. And you get to work alongside a guest designer to create some of your beautiful pieces. I've got a workshop at the end of the month on the 25th. Oh, it's too soon. Oh, Muppet. <laughs> they won't get the prize until they the 30th. I know. The 31st. Shucks. But apart from that, 
<laughs> yeah, you could save it till your next one. Um, all you have to do is create a beautiful wire work pumpkin just like this. And let's see now exactly we to do it? what we can do. Right. Well, when I was looking at this, when, when Pip suggested the competition, yeah. I had a long think about what design I wanted to do. I had my initial design was very, you know, it was an Allison intricate, complicated. And I thought, but but that can can limit some of the, the starters to having a go at it. So I thought, no, I want this design to be something everyone can have a go at. Okay. The pumpkin for the competition doesn't have to be this exact pumpkin. No. It can be any wire work pumpkin that you've done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fine, go ahead for it. Yeah. You know, um, but I wanted everyone to be able to have a go, so I've, I've, I've aimed this at everyone having a go. Brilliant. Okay. Right. So you just have a go. Would you like to see around it? Would you like to have a look around it? Because obviously it's different um, on each side. So we've obviously got the jack o' lantern face, and then look all the way around. This is what we're going to learn how to create. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <Smack>. Today. <laughs> He's cute, isn't he? <laughs> It looks so weird with that black room. I know, yeah. Right. So, I started off with the main body. All right. Okay. So, what I, what I did, and I'll show you how I'm going to do this now, is I made what John calls my, my um, lampshade. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, what I needed was a circle for the top and a circle for the bottom. Yeah. Now, when I originally was designing this, I wanted a, a, a battery-operated... Candle, a little little uh, nightlight candle thing yeah. to go in it. I I would be loath to put a real one in there. Yes, of course. I would be loath. So if you, I, but I couldn't find one to buy in time to come here. So so that's why I designed it for this size. Yours does not have to be this size. No. Right now to get our circle at the top and the bottom, which are both matching. Let me just get there. Go. I used um, a very very exclusive tool. It's called a tea mug. Ooh. <laughs> and I went, Where I can you buy these from? Oh, loads of places. Look <laughs> in your kitchen cupboard. You know, I literally, I wanted something that was a decent size. Um, right. And I got a tea light and I went, oh, I had my cup of tea there. And I went, oh, about that big, actually. Fab. <laughs> Use stuff you've got around the house for things like this because you know, you're not going to go out and buy a mandrel for this. Other things for bigger for bigger mandrels, which are great, um, rolling pins, fab for bigger mandrels, all sorts of things like that. Any, you know, so think outside the box again. Mm -hmm. Top of top of your 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 mug, fine. And all you do is you take your one mil wire. Yeah. So I've used the one mil wire. I'm going to borrow this cup of pop it around your brew cup of tea. Without tea in. Without Probably tea in. Best. Doesn't matter. Put it round and pinch it tight. Okay. Slide it off. There and you there go. you go. Oh, he's busy. That's yeah. Okay. Then then snip off. Now you see how the wires are going like that, crossing. Yeah. I just bend them out because whoops. Don't do that. Okay. That not gently. Of, yeah. <laughs> You can just put it back around the mug and reshape, and then get a little snip of wire. Um, I don't know whether you've heard, I haven't said it for a long time. I have a, a bit box. Yeah. So all all bits like this, when I finished wire wrapping or anything like that, snipped it off. You've got that much wire. You're not going to put it back on the roll. No. I never throw it away. It goes in the bit box. bit box. When I need something to tie a piece of wire like that, or I need a little bit for a jump ring, I go into the bit box and get my pieces of wire. Um, and then my husband pinches them for his figures. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Do, you're not doing it to be pretty, you're doing it to hold it in place. Okay, right, and what you'll find is, is that helps the wire get a new memory, because you know wire has memory, so it thinks it's, it's coiled around that. And because you've done a circle, if you take that off, it'll spring open. I see. Okay, so. We had two of those, one for the top, one for the, one bottom. For the bottom. Now what I did do was I did another one for the top just to strengthen it. Okay. Okay? So I did three of them. Right, I Which see. I attached the other one on afterwards. Okay. Okay. Right. We then need our supports. Mm -hmm. Now I've done it in sections, so there's about eight sections on that, mm -hmm. which doesn't show up very well on the camera, but it does actually go in and out like a pumpkin. Yeah. Okay. Again, 
depending on how big you want to do it and how much wire you've got, mm -hmm. have a think about where you get. I, I cut a piece, tried it, thought, oh my gosh, that's miles too big. Snip it down a bit. Okay. Okay. When it's when it's got them all on there, it's got a mind of its own. So snip a bit, then all you're doing is making a loop, and you don't want a big loop, but you want it to be able to move. So you want a loop top and bottom, both going the same way. Okay. Okay. And then when you've got eight of those, I just put a curve back in them. So just you've got a bit of them. yeah. Okay. And then so you can get a uniform curve. Okay. Okay. And then slide them onto your lollipop mm -hmm. and you end up with your base shape. Base base French frame. Fabby frame yeah. So you can make this to whatever size. You might want to do a small one. I mean that's perfectly sturdy enough for children to take that round with them and, and have, sweeties have sweeties in. in it. If you've got any of the bigger bags, that's stuffed with little bags because I had them with me. Yeah. But you know the big purple bags yeah, or something? You could put a big organza bag in it and then they could drop their sweeties that's into there. That's a really good idea. Only because they might fall out of the mouth. Yeah, That'd no, be a bit good funny. idea. He'd, be, he'd look like he's been sick. Being sick on sweeties. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thanks for that uh, image. Everyone enjoying their Alison. afternoon tea. Mm, gorgeous. I <laughs> uh, just need to let you know I've got 11 of these left. <laughs> However, I've got a pro You're right there, Alison. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've got approximately 20 in baskets. So this is. People are going to miss out. I've got nine left now. Um, it's twenty nine ninety five. Now I'm going to leave that with you because technically it's a sellout once you guys check out. And whilst you know we are a shopping channel, so I am going to bring you um, another product now just before we move on. But we'll get back to Alison as soon as we can. Which one would you like me to do now? Anyone for clearance wire? You both put your hands up. Ben as well. Ben, love that jumper. Thank isn't you. it Christmassy? Isn't it is it? Isn't it Christmassy? Yeah. Mm. It's, it, did you think it was a different theme show today? No, it just like, I don't know, it's cold this morning. It's cold this morning. It's cold this it morning. is nippy, isn't it? Um, clearance wire. Yeah, I know. I know. I've just said to you, we haven't got wire in at the moment. We are running out of wire. And then we do wire clearance. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Yes, it is. However, we're doing it anyway. Don't question it. Just love the price. Just buy it. 0 0.8, 100 metres with this gorgeous amethyst tone. It's so beautiful and rich. Perfect for Halloween. Perfect for Christmas as well, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Very, very, very Christmassy. Oh, yeah. Love it. Glamour, isn't it? <gasps> yeah, I love that colour of purple. Gorgeous, isn't it? And when the light's on it, from here, you've got a lavender from the light and a pink from the light. Ah, gorgeous. I know. Absolutely so, stunning. So beautiful. Purple wire. Um, what sort of things could we make with this? You could wrap cabochons with it. You could make rings with it. You can make bangles with it. You can make handbags with it. You can decorate shoes with it. You, do you want me to carry on? Yes. You can make... <laughs> <laughs> Necklaces so with it, headbands with it. So, so much. It's, did you say it's point eight? It is. So it's great for all sorts of things. Absolutely great. You've got enough structure there to, to, to do um, more structural pieces. Yeah. If you wanted to do bigger structural pieces, you could twist it. Of course. Fabulous. Fabulous. It is beautiful. It's unique. And the gorgeous. thing with this colour as well is maybe you're one of these people who hasn't really worked with the coloured wires before maybe you've gone for the base tones your silvers your your, your gold etc um if if that is the case then well why not give the coloured wire a go because actually even if you maybe for example used it on a talk or you did yep. say you did wire wrapping with this yep. you could use you know your go-to silver maybe your 0.4 oh, yeah. silver with this maybe and create your wire wrap so that you just get a glimmer of this colour through it doesn't have to be perfect in no. your face no. does it put it with your gold yeah stunning I would have a text in about this where is it 100 metres of your purple coloured wire. I've had a text. Good gauge for jump rings. Paula, yes. you're not wrong. Good gauge for jump rings. How gorgeous and glamorous oh, no. is purple chain mail? 
Oh, that would be amazing. Purple and gold yeah. chain mail. Pur purple and gold, purple with some uh, citrine. Or, you know, oh, you could put it with amethyst as well. Some of the lavender amethyst you've had on it lately. It would go absolutely amazing with my imperial jasper. Sorry, your imperial jasper that you gave me before. Imperial topes, yeah. Topaz, you're right. topaz, um, not jasper. Topaz. We, I, jasper. and we say actually as well, for things like, Paul has suggested the jump rings, for things yeah. like chainmail, when you're getting started, certain weaves are easier to do if you've got lots of different colours in it. Yeah. Because you can tell where you're going next. Yeah. Great way to add this in. Um, your price point today is clearance. Get it whilst you can. Should be. Oh my, you're generally not going to believe the price. Am I going to be upset? Honestly, I cannot believe this price. <laughs> right. If you're starting off with wire work and yeah. you're not sure what you're doing and you find you're having a lot of play, get it. For that, it's almost throwaway at that price. You've got 100 metres of practice if you're not sure what you're doing. If you are sure what you're doing, sorry. <laughs> if you are sure what you're doing, fabulous, fabulous bargain. If you're not sure, 9.95, 9.95. You know what can you get for 9.95 these days? You go out, you go out to the pub. That's well, you go to pump some pubs. That's one drink. You know, it's, it's a couple of drinks of a night out. That. <laughs> I've done quite a bit of clearance wire recently, and mm -hmm. um, we've had quite a few reels on, and I've known the clearance price for 100 metres to be 12.95, so that's what I was expecting. That's where, why my producer, when she told me to explore the price came in, genuine shock. £15 saving. Fifteen pounds off. It's only nine ninety five. So that's something like what an eighty percent off. Mm, bonkers. And better than buy one get one free. Brill for gizmoing as well. You can do some really nice gizmo work with it. Fantastic. Isn't that, that amazing? That is brilliant. That is a no brainer. Buy it. You're not. You're not going to use it all straight away. No. Don't matter. Nine ninety five. Buy it. Put it in the cupboard you'll use it, you will eventually use it. Yeah, and I just want to give people a heads up as well. We're doing clearance on certain colours at the moment and that sadly is not with the plan to get them the colours back in before Christmas. So we do not plan on getting purple wire in again before Christmas. So if you think even for a moment that you might want to create um, something wire work, so the beautiful table decorations, Christmas decorations, or just handmade pieces in maybe your best friend's favourite colour for Christmas, um, we haven't got the plan to get this in before then again. So this could be your last chance. 9.95, you can imagine the screen in front of me is going crazy. Stay where you are in the phone lines. At that price, it's worth the wait. 9.95, congratulations everyone. That'll be a sellout. Oh yeah. Okay, so we've done the frame. Right, so what I'm doing, I've got a piece of point four, mm. and I'm spacing these out, and all I'm doing, they're not gonna stay with this wire, is I'm roughly just fixing them into a rough position. Doesn't matter if they mm -hmm. move, it's a pumpkin. Pumpkins yeah, aren't perfectly regular. Oh no. So you're roughly placing them around it, and you want to do the top and the bottom. Like I say, it doesn't matter if they move, it's just to give you a rough idea of where you're going to get the, the inny, ins and outs okay. sort of thing, if that makes sense. Yeah, I know what you mean. So it's, it's acting as the spacer. Yeah, yeah. So those are your, your uprighty bits of your pumpkin. Your columns, as it were. Yeah. I'm sure there's a proper name for what they're called, but, you know, the, the bits that go in. Right, so we're already now looking a little bit more pumpkin-like. Okay, right. These bits are going to be the back. These long tails will get wound in with all the squiggly wiggly bits. Mm -hmm. That's a technical term. Yeah, of course. So don't cut those off because they're great for holding it and keeping it in place for now. And when you start filling this in, that's when you can take those off. Okay, so we'll just take that out of the way. Now, I took the front roughly opposite there mm -hmm. and decided, right, this is going to be my front face. So now I want to make the pieces for the face. Okay. Um, Laura Bindon's just come in. You look beautiful. She looks gorgeous does. today. She really does. 
Look at you, your little stunner. Mm -hmm. She's coming up on the late show for you. She looks like a model. She does. <laughs> I think that kind of creeped out that I just went, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. you think when I say that to people, they run out of the room. No, yeah. <laughs> typical. She's gone. She's run away. <laughs> uh, tune in later for lovely, uh, beautiful, model-like spellbinding on The Late Show. <laughs> spellbinding. Ooh. Can't wait for the 31st. Me neither. It's going to be fantastic. Me neither. Fantastic. Can't wait. Um, right. <laughs> For the face, you can do whatever shape eyes you like. You can do traditional triangles, triangle nose, zigzaggy mouth. Mm -hmm. Play with it, do whatever shape you want. Mine's very quirky, almost zombie-ish sort of Good description. <laughs> yeah. With his eyes going everywhere and, and I'm not pulling the face again now you got the camera. I'd, on me. I'd go more. <laughs> well, you're all right. I'd go more. <laughs> Would you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my kind of face that okay. I'm thinking. Okay. Not so. my face. Oh, my kind of face. You know. What so, I literally, for the eyes, I made a made a little bit of a teardrop. Mm -hmm. Let me put that out of your way, Ben. And that didn't go quite according to plan. <laughs> and I made a mess of the first one. So I'll. I like your flush cutters, if you don't mind me saying. My flush cutter pliers. Mm. Hey, they're my new ones, actually. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I've got my other ones down there. I did fetch them. Beautiful. Really John nice. said, you're ordering another pair. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. You can't have too many. Essential. Yeah. <laughs> Shush. It's like shoes and handbags, my producer just said. Yeah. Shoes, handbags, flush cutters. Oh, you see, no, I'm not a shoe and a handbag person. What kind of person are you? Probably gemstones and dogs would be my, yeah. Gemstones, gemstones and dogs. Gemstones and, and, yeah. Yeah. Can't have, you can't have enough of them. Yeah. No, you can't. No. I'd love to get another dog. Only three. Oh, God, I won't, though. Only three. I'm banned from having another one. Oh. Three's quite a lot. Um, the most I've had at one time hmm. um, was 11. However, seven of those were babies. Oh, got you. Got you, got you. Got you. seven puppies. I used to live in a dog kennel. <gasps> there, I've said it. <laughs> that or in. <laughs> I didn't quite catch one. No, I didn't. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. Oh. All right. Sorry. Uh, no, as in at a, a, a. It's too late now, Alison. I used to work in the kennels. Oh, I bet you did. Right, come on, let's carry on. <laughs> I'm sorry. And no, it's all right. Northwesterners should stick together. No. I'm sorry. It's too late I didn't, for that. I didn't hear. It's what too you... late for that. Northern love can only go so far, Alison. You've crossed the mark. I'm sorry. You have to make me a ring for the challenge to make it up. Oh, I've forgotten about making a ring. Well, I've just reminded you subtly. Right. <laughs> so, so that's quite big for this one. So you can you, well, you can do whatever size you like. So there's quite a big eye. Mm. He's going to be a big beastie eye. So you'd make two eyes, simple triangle for nose, or you could have two little nostrils. Yeah. Okay. So good thing about doing unusual eyes like that is that you don't have to get them perfect. You don't have no. to make them the same, do you? And literally, all I did. <laughs> <laughs> that was done in seconds. For the nose, was I didn't even worry about joining it at the top because it'll wire in. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Love that. So nose, and then you get to have fun with the mouth. Oh, and any mouth you like. Yeah, you can just randomly go up and down and then think, oh, how big is it? Is it like that? You could do it a bit more organised. You can tweak it. You can play with it. You can have a big wide open mouth or a little slitty mouth. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you can play with that, and then at the end, I just overlap them a bit. So when we wire wrap it in, it's nice and closed. It's nice up. and closed up. Right now, that is going to be quite huge. Oh yeah. On this one, but there's no reason why you can't do that. What I would do is. You want to bend it round mm -hmm. to, to follow the shape of the pumpkin. Pumpkin, mm -hmm. and you can either tweak that so that it fits in, mm -hmm. and then we're going to get rid of this strut. Okay. We're going to get rid of there. We're going to take it down to the top of the nose, All right. 
and then we don't need the rest of it it's just okay. there for support for now okay okay yeah we'll need that so we've got eyes ears and nose Fab. right now there's two ways I've filled in the panels two different ways so on the front I've done a, a more close wire wrapping yeah I see that now you could do that all the way round, and it would still look good um, it would take you a long time yeah. and an awful lot of wire so you'd have to do a smaller one to do it just out of the kit all this was out of the kit um, and I had a little bit left over not much but um, so, so two I did it nights. very randomly round the back yeah. very similar to the way I did the, the gold handbag so we've just had a text in it's very important oh. um, I will get told off if I don't read this out no more dogs <laughs> See, That's he does listen. He does listen. <laughs> He's watching it with the sound on today. Hi, like, babe. Hope you're feeling better. Oh, like, you're feeling better Hope as Mezzie's well. feeling better. I know, poor poddy dog. Poor poddy, poddy dog's dog. little poorly. I bet, but they're having cuddles today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with this no more off. dogs. No more dogs. You've been told, Alison. I know. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for that, Johnny. Look. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to focus I keep on trying. <laughs> yeah, have another go. Do text us in if you want to. Sixty triple seven. Uh, so you text with a JM Studio. Any text for Alison that you might have. For example, if you've got a little puppies. No, no, I didn't say that, John. <laughs> if you've got a no, I, no. Seriously, for I example, do agree with him. I do. Agree um, with him. Alison. Yes. If you were a Halloween icon. Example, pumpkin, witch, you know, werewolf. What would you be and witch. why? Would you? Witch. I'd be a witch. Love that. <laughs> ben, what would you be? I'd be a ghost. You'd be a Ooh. ghost. Ooh. Uh, producer Helena, what would you be? A vampire. Oh, yeah, of Ooh. course. That's a good one. What would you be, Glenn? Uh, werewolf. Yeah, werewolf. I think I would. Mm. I think I would. Oh, oh, oh. And that'd be cool. Yeah. I can always feel my inner werewolf bubbling <laughs> at that sound. Oh, love it. Do you know what? Sorry, and I'm digressing. <laughs> when we were away, my old collie howls every now and then, and he's yeah. triggered by the telephone ringing. If you don't answer it quickly, he'll start howling. Okay. He's hilarious. But now, since, since Mally moved in, she kind of does this little point over the top, so he's there going, oh, yeah. and then she'll go, Rawr! Rawr! in a little high pitch. Well, I was on the back of the boat steering because we were in a lock and John was on the side and the phone went off. So Jay started howling. <laughs> Mally was sitting between us. So I went, Rawr! and she <laughs> wasn't wearing this, as if to say, I didn't know you knew the words. <laughs> and then Jay started, and then Jay started again, so I did it and she spun around. Oh, it was hilarious. It's my job as a presenter Sorry. to keep the guest designers on track, to keep them focused, to stop them telling long stories. Well, I just can't with Alison because I just need to know everything about her. I love that story. <laughs> oh, they're um, just so do you funny. Know what? A story with Howling in can't be bad, can it? I love that. Thank you for that, Alison. <laughs> Little look into Very your relevant. Life. Very relevant. It was Howling. It was Halloween. Yeah, cool. Right, so all I'm doing with this. And I'm using two strands of the point eight. Yep. Now, you're using point one for the for the frame, okay. so there's not a huge difference between the point one and the point eight. So you do have to be careful because if you just try and pull it through, let me feed that you through there. You might accidentally bend the frame. Yeah. If you try and just pull it against that, you will bend the frame. Got you. Okay. So what I do is I'm holding the corner of the twist I've done, mm -hmm. and I'm holding that, and I'm pulling against this. I see. So I feed it and then pull against it. It yeah, mm. and then when I want to turn, I'll hold the point of the turn, okay. so that you're protecting the one mil wire. The one mil strong, but there's not there's not a huge difference. There's not a huge yeah. difference between the two. No, of course. So literally, we're filling the space with twists and turns, and you'll do it with a couple. You see, we've got the the other one up there, and you go randomly. You can do it as as um, filled in or as or as sparse as you like okay. it's it's entirely up to you and what I did was I filled it in so far um, so that they were all looking quite filled in and then I went round with the um, what's the name with some gemstones and started putting some gemstones in mm. I loved 
absolutely loved the um, Moonstone. Gorgeous, and and the to be fair, was it sandstone? Sunstone, sunstone sorry. Because yeah. you were getting a glow off the sunstone. Stunning, isn't it? And I <laughs> um, just to let you know this price is not around for long. This price has not been seen before on 0 0.8. I'll be honest with you, it's a ridiculous price because I've got so many. We had over 200 of these. In fact, do we have like 260 something? Massive amount. I'm in my last child's saloon now, though. Oh, that's not surprising at all. At all. That's so such a I bargain. Have, have, in the last, what, six minutes or whatever, when you've seen this, we have sold approximately 230 of these. So I've not got many left. That's why it's imperative I can't believe that. That price. you check out your baskets. Cannot believe that price. 9.95 for you today. Congratulations to everyone who's already got it. And good luck to the people who've got it in their baskets. Check out ASAP. Right, there's no rhyme or reason as to how you do this. No. It's Have you got the kit? Can I borrow a strand from the kit? Yeah, don't mind if you do. Thank you. It's all right. Anyone in particular, love? Um, the sunstone and the Plastic and the and the moon and the moon. Yeah, no problem. Sun and the moon. Thank you. I no I fetched them and I don't know where the bag's gone. Because no problem. Do you mind if I reach across for no, the no, flush so. cutters? Ooh, um, to chop these strands up for you. No, no, no that'd be real. Do you want yeah. me to chop these strands yeah. for you? So you can see how we're beginning to fill in the gap. Even though it's a huge gap yeah. due to the way you're weaving it. It starts filling in. It starts filling in already. Here you go, here you go. Let me put, let me borrow her. Because they won't roll so much on her. Oh yeah, good. Okay, and then to get, that's quite flat at the moment, you're gonna just bulge it out mm -hmm. to get the bulge. Okay, so yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna do it for all of them because it's exactly the same thing. And you just add in more and more sets as you go along. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, I see. So you do that to all of them. And, and you don't have to stick with the wire in one. You can go from one to the other to the other. I get you. Yeah. yeah. Span across a few. Absolutely. Lovely. Absolutely. Right. Now, what I did for the... Um, was that the right one? Yeah, that's point eight. You've nicked my flush cut, haven't you? Excuse me. It's all right. You need another pair. I have another pair. They're in the box down there, actually. Thank you very much, my able assistant. No problem at all. Fantastic. I think she might have forgiven me. <laughs> <laughs> you think wrong, chicken. <laughs> um. <laughs> that was so unfortunate. <laughs> that was so unfortunate. I seriously didn't mean it the way Whatever. it sounded. <laughs> Whatever, Anson. We're over it now, aren't we? Yeah, massively over it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to add in another one. So what I did was I took the two strands and then randomly added, and as you'll see, you watch these won't go through now, this is the point 0.8, yeah. and those oh, wow. go on it absolutely fine. Even though they're 6 mil, and Even generally six you'll mil. see, because they're smaller... Yeah. Both of them go on it absolutely no problem. That's fantastic. OK. Yeah. Right, so I randomly did it all the way around the body, mm -hmm. shall we say, yeah. and just put them where there was a bit of a gap, and then I'd put a bead in it. Okay, so yeah, that's that's going round the body, right? Whilst you're going around the body, yeah. uh, we've had a message in. When are the flush cutters coming? <laughs> How's ha. about now? Ha ha! This is not a drill, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. <The> pliers. <laughs> um, <laughs> they are pliers. <laughs> Good. <laughs> this is not a drill. Get on the phone. ASAP. No. There's your code. I'm almost in my last chance saloon on this. MKBN69. These are your Beadalon designer flush cutters. Your price is only £29.95. These are for numerous guest designers. They're Desert Island Tool. They're essential. 
I, I, well, I can't manage without mine now. I struggle. I can do it, but I struggle. Can you cast your mind back? Gosh, how far? It's a bit dodgy. Well, it depends how long. After ten minutes. <laughs> Before oh. you had flush cutters. Yeah. Well, what made you want them? Essentially, what made you want to try them out? <laughs> I love Sorry. You falling off. Yeah, no, I've got a bit. What made you want to give them a go? A minute. Um, right. When I was doing a lot of the weaving, the flush cutters get really in tight and literally do what it says on the tin. They cut flush. So when I'm doing things like the dog or the elephant and things like that, you can get into intricate little bits because you can't get your hand in, you can't open it, and you can just snip it off flush. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant for doing stuff like that. And that, that was the main thing I wanted them for. When I do a lot of other wire wrapping, when you're doing rings or pendants, again, you can cut it flush. The other ones you can do it but you've got to angle it and so for my kind of work mm. you've got to really go in and doing that oh That's bless exactly. him look at his tail it's <laughs> oh it's so happy <laughs> sorry um so so that's the big reason i want it with your ordinary pliers in the usual cutters that maybe usual you get cutters. you start a nothing nothing wrong whatever. with them nothing no, wrong with them no, they do the job they they'll do the job but if you look at the profile yeah go on so if you can see here mm -hmm. both sides are angled yeah i see that yeah so when you cut something you get a, a chamfer on each side you get an angled in on each you side do. yeah so yeah. you've then got to try and get rid of that yeah with these, if you look at the profile, it's literally flat on one side. Flat. Flat. Yeah? Yeah. So that's flat. And that one has got your curve. Yeah, you can just see the angle at the top. Which leaves a triangular point yeah. in your wire. Yeah. So like I say, there's nothing per se wrong with these, no, but for the type that. of work I was doing, they make it so much easier. Yeah. And they go through wire like butter. Don't cut your memory wire with them. No, never. I tend not to cut... They will cut 1.5. I tend not to cut the higher gauges with them. No. They will do it. No. But But I'm very precious about my flush cutters. I don't want to hurt them. <laughs> so I look after them. We've had a text in. <laughs> Hello, lovely Nick. Held back for ages from buying these because they are expensive. But, oh my God, they are so amazing. Feel the difference yeah. on the first snip. You do. You do. They, are a, they are a purchase, but they're, they're no more expensive than what you pay for an awful lot of pliers in, in the real world, shall in we say, places, that's, yeah. that's, that's not the jewellery maker. Because a lot that of the prices we get, to. you get used to the prices in jewellery maker. Prices, see him, we yeah. all do it. We all do it. And, and um, but, uh, I was blown away. I had some flush cutters before I got these that I'd got from a shop mm -hmm. from somewhere else that I've had for a long time. They were getting blunt. They were pretty, pretty rubbished mm -hmm. by the end. These I use constantly. Those I didn't use to con use constantly. I just use them for certain things. Okay. These I use constantly. They haven't blunted. Like I say, the only reason I got another pair, well, I might have to get another pair when the next come back in. <laughs> um, the only reason I got another pair was because I want to make sure I've got them when I go somewhere, because you can't, you can get a pair of pliers, but you can't get a pair of those. No. Nope. When, if, you, if you're out and stuck without them, like me, and that's a very good point, the spring's brilliant on them. Yes, they are mm -hmm. so comfy to use. They really are. So, so comfy to use. I've never, these are the comfiest ply pliers I've used. I love the um, comfort grip ones we do. Mm. They, they are really nice, but these were kind of made for me. Yeah, so comfortable. Yeah, absolutely Not many beautiful. opportunities left though. Once this goes, we don't know when we'll get it next in. It takes us months sometimes. We were months and months and months and months without these for a long, long time. Um, we've got some back in. It's your last 14 chances. Congratulations to anyone who does treat themselves. Lovely jubbly. Right. We've added on the gemstones at the back. Yeah. So now we're going to add in the face. face. The face is slightly different. And I'm sorry for the change of position. It's all right. 
he'll tell me off for not drinking enough water. He's a good lad, he does look after me. Right, <laughs> so I would tack that. I would tack that into place loosely, uh -huh. okay? Let me fix this first. I'm, I'm going to jump a step so that we're not waiting for me to tack it and then untack it. Uh -huh. Right, once it's tacked in position and you, you, you're happy with where they are, I've got three strands of the point .4. Okay. Right, now you want to keep them flat. You don't want them to twist. You want to keep them flat, and that's how you get the coverage because it's almost like you've now got a band of wire that you're using. I got you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Same. So we're going to go, and it's only the simple figure of eight weave. Mm -hmm. You're going in, and until this has got some fixed, it's going to be a little bit fiddly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every now and then, do a complete round of one side mm -hmm. and then you back to through the gap underneath through the gap and you'll see in a minute how quick this builds up to be quite because that's got quite a def decent coverage on it oh yeah it definitely has through the gap and if you see I'm using my fingers to hold these flat all the time just keeping them in place yeah so that the three wires are staying the same. Okay. okay, and every now and then, like I say, just go round and anchor it. And then you do that all the way round. Now, when you come to a corner, see how quick that's built up? That's really quick. Wow. Yeah? yeah. The coverage is quite quick to build up. Mm. When, you, when you come to a corner, what I found was it's quite difficult to fan it round the corner. So what I did was I, I was taking some of the smaller sunstone, no, moonstone. moonstone, thank you, and I was just threading them on and splaying the moonstone out around the corner. I got you. Yeah? Right, uh, yeah. That, so that's why we've got the beads in the corners. Got you. It's quite a nice feature. It's a beautiful feature. Um, the, the, the sun and candle will bounce off it. But it also okay. is dual purpose because it fills in the corner without you having to try and struggle to get your wires round. Okay. See, that's now filled in quite nicely, that corner. Clever. And then you can carry on going down there. So mm -hmm. I'd take this side and then carry on weaving. Now, where you've loosely tacked it, we'll get rid of those. You can either get rid of them at, as you come to each piece, mm -hmm. you can get rid of it or you can just pull it all out afterwards. Okay. Now what I found in the middle when I was doing the eyes was if you do this tightly all the way down there with this eye, yeah. the other eye's got nowhere to go. So I actually got them both to the same position and then did them in tandem. So I did a stitch with this nice one hand. and a stitch with that one. What you find is you have quite a few bits of wire. So I was like tucking one, one wire out the way, yeah. working with that one, fetching that one back. It was a little bit of a faff, but it's only for what, an inch? And that's it. Yeah. Between the eyes, that's it. You don't have to do it anywhere else. Okay. okay? Yeah. So you do that all the way round. And as you get to each bit, so as we got to the nose, I'd put the nose in. And then what I did, whoops, come here you. What I did with the nose was I actually bent these around the centre wire. So you bent the bit that you purposely left open? Yeah. Around? So I just turn it round and bend it round there. And do the same with the other one. And then I snip that. And bent it up. So that holds it, locks so it So it locks there. it all in place. Bearing in mind, yours will have all the sides filled in, so it won't be as, yeah, it won't, be, won't be going all over the place like this. Okay, make sure your sharp ends are tucked round, and then you can just cut them off. Flush. Flush, speaking of which, Loads in baskets, only 11 left. Check out. Oh. You, you won't okay. regret getting them. They are a purchase, but you will not ever regret getting them. I, I couldn't believe how, how fantastic they were. Right, so then we start flush cutting again. 
flush cutting. Did I say flush cutting again? Got those things on my brain. Haven't you just? <laughs> Wire wrapping. Okay. So we'd go round. I've done that very loosely, obviously. You'd fill in the gap, but then you want to have your mouth coming into the uh, play. Yeah. So we'll attach the mouth because we've got to have time to do the base. How, how are we doing? Well, time-wise. 10 minutes. Right. Is that okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you sure, Alison? Yeah. Okay. Why? No, I just, just trying to judge it because yeah, I, I could go on. Minutes. I can wrap it on just in case nobody's noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Very diplomatic. I don't know why. You basically me. called me a dog not so long ago. <laughs> Excuse me, this is a dog lover. <laughs> I'll treat that, all right. I, I, I'd take that as a compliment. Now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If I had to be an animal. Well, I, I'd actually probably end up as a Labrador. I would probably end up as a Labrador. I'd love to be a Collie, but I'm not active enough. Having said that, my Labrador's bonkers, so. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Who knows? What dog would you be if you had to be a dog? Golden Retriever. Ah, oh, there you go, you see? Same yeah. difference. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you just go, ha, at me uh -huh. ah. I turned the game round on you. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> ah. Basically the second time you've compared me to a dog today. Uh, no, I said if you were going to... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I'm not going to win that one. <laughs> go on, sure Ben, if you had to be a dog... Are you a dog or a cat person or neither? I'm a, I'm a dog. Go on then, what dog would you be? Um, I would be a chihuahua. Oh really? Yeah. A chihuahua? Yeah. Okay. No, you're, you're one of those little Yorkshire Terriers. Do you remember that a woman texted in once? Oh She yeah. texted in once and said, because Ben had his hair up. Sorry. <laughs> I'll pick these up. <laughs> Um, so he sorry. came in with his head, on, with his hair up in a... Oh, yeah, in a little... And some, in, like, a little ponytail, and someone messaged in saying you look like a dog, didn't they? Oh, <laughs> oh, like a little Russell. Yorkshire Terrier no, or something, wasn't it? Russell. Be Yorkie or something. Something like that. Yeah, or a something chihuahua a or a... Yeah. Yorkies quite often have, have little pigtails in. Yeah. It could have been nice and said you were like an old English sheepdog, because they have them in to keep the hair out of their eyes, but... Could have been. Love it. So you're popping them out whilst you're doing them out. Yeah. I'm going to bring the ladies and gents at home some wire. Really quickly. <gasps> Look at that pink purple. Perfect Someone's with that purple. Text what? Sorry. S Someone's text about Pete. Have they? Have they? What's it said? Let's have a look. Sammy. Hi, ladies. Loving the show. I have a question. Where's Pete? <laughs> and is he doing an impression? Love you all. Hey, Sammy. I'm fine, thanks, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, gorgeous Sammy. Pete, um, he's been a bit camera shy today, to be honest. He's on his break at the moment, which we all... Oh, wait, have you just been on your break, have you? Come on, you've been requested, come through. He's coming for you now. He has got an impression. Um, you have got here, yeah, thanks for that, Sammy. Love Sammy. She's uh, brilliant. So lovely as well, isn't she? She is gorgeous. And very talented. Oh my gosh, supremely talented. Triple threat, She's, triple threat. Oh. You've got wire here, silver and black, twisted wire. It is your 0.810 metres. I've then got your 0.4 100 metres worth in that gorgeous fuchsia pink. Mm. <gasps> Spicy. I've then got your pink uh, in the 0.6 and this is 10 metres worth. So 120 metres worth of wire in total. You know we hardly have any wire in at the moment. We've got it now. Your price point. Wow, that's good again. For 120 metres? That's your should be price. Oh! That's a good price. Right, genuine look at the price that's about to come up. Oh, no. Honestly. No. Honestly. <laughs> so, so, for £20.90. Is that a five? 94 pence. You could have the one mil and those two. And look at that purple with that pink. Well, we'll go with that as well. All of those will go with that. Do we have any that and that. Handful. Wow. Handful. Perfect. Amazing. What uh, designs? £10.95 for 120 metres worth of wire. Fantastic. Trick or treat? It's definitely a treat at that price, isn't it? You know, I did the the... 
sun and the moon ear cuffs. Yes. If you used the fuchsia, and I talked about doing flowers, so instead of the rays of the sun, you'd have, have flowers. flowers. Yeah. That pink and that purple would look amazing. Amazing. Love. What a fantastically different wedding. Oh, gorgeous. What a, look. what a look for going to the races. Stuff like that, you know? Have fun with them. Do something zazzy. Do something really out there and go, go to the ball with them. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Fab, fab. They're so different. I love them. Absolutely love them. That's not the way you're getting, just so you know. Oh. <laughs> the one that you all keep showing. What? <laughs> Sorry. That wire isn't the way you're getting, sweet I'll, pea. I'll leave you alone. You, <laughs> you let me sit there. Being I was like, doing this. Being like, ooh, I was yeah. Doing that. Ooh, I'm doing that. Whenever the camera was off, going like that, pulling funny faces. This is the wire you get for 10 miles and 90 bucks. Trick or treat. Go Trick, obviously. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose at that price, yeah. There you go, £10.95. <laughs> oh, Pete's having a lovely chuckle. Yeah. yeah. Pete will be in, Sammy. After the break. Stop it. After the break. <laughs> you don't get that, wire. Pete will be with us after the break with a spectacular impression. Ooh. Right, so as you can see, I've started adding it in there, and again, I'm going to fill that gap. You could wire wrap the whole thing, yeah. but I think it's quite nice filling it with the gemstones. Yeah, I think that's the thing. And you literally just wire up the gemstones. Right, so that should give you enough to be able to make... <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> that should give you enough to make the top. We've now got to do the base. If you tip that one upside down, we've done a little bit of basket weaving. Cobweb? Yeah. Oh, or a cobweb. Right, I'm going to move these out of the way before I chuck them somewhere else. Okay. Right. Speed basket weaving. <laughs> Sounds like an extreme sport. <laughs> it, could, it could be. It could be. Watch your eyes! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Right, I don't know which pliers to use. <laughs> right, eight pieces. Well, actually, you need ten pieces. I did it with eight, and it's wrong. You want an uneven number each side, okay. I think. So ten? Because I had to... Yeah, because you want five and five. OK, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. If not, you just have to... One, two, three, four, five... You want them to be longer than the diameter of your base. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. One. Nearly sold out of the wire, just to let you know. You were laughing because you saw Pete's impression that he's going to do after the break. Oh, was that the impression? It's epic, isn't it? It is. You're it is. going to love it. Right. I've done four and four, okay. because that's what I did on that. But Play around with your numbers, and again, yeah. It just depends. Right. You want four strands, you want them straightish, but don't panic too much because you're going to bend them. Mm -hmm. Four, four. Right. Now, you want. Would my able assistant hold those for me? I don't know. Not that. Right. Yeah, you don't have to worry about them being oh. the right way. <laughs> I just thought I'd give them to you. <laughs> normally glamorous assistant, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just abled. You were glamorous as well. Too late. Oh boy. I've got a big bowl round here and I keep putting my foot in it. <laughs> yeah, you do. I'm not, saying, <laughs> I'm not saying what's in it. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. Would you all like to clap for the glamorous? <laughs> <laughs> Becky, who's been so fantastic throughout this show. <laughs> all right, you're taking it too far now. <laughs> right, I'm wrapping it all the way round. I'm holding them flat. I've wrapped it all the way round that. Put four and four in across, sorry, to, to, to get it straight first. Then I'm going to wrap it around that one. Mm -hmm. Take it round to the next one. This is to get it started into place. Yeah. Around to that one around to that one. Okay. You don't want that bit there. Right, then we're going to start doing a proper basket weave that you would do with canes. 
Okay. So we're going to splay these out. I love that word, splay. This is why you don't have to worry about them being bent because you're going to you're going to rebend them and you'll find you tweak them until you've got quite a way down the line. You will find you tweak them. Okay. So don't panic too much about them being even to begin with or anything like that. Right. What you do need them is to be in the same order. Okay, mm -hmm. then with our wire, we're going to go under and over all the way round. Under. The first couple of rows are quite fiddly. Mm -hmm. Over. And I've got two wires and I'm holding them again flat purely because this fills it in quicker. Okay. Sorry, I made a right mess of that no, one. No, sorry, I don't see. Got one either side. Doesn't rush in. Over. Under. Mm -hmm. Over. Under. Over. Under. Over. And this is literally all you do. You're going to do this all the way round. Okay under, over, under, over. Okay. Right, now why I say you need to play with your numbers yeah. is because now I'm back to the, oh hang on, I've got another one. Over, under, there you go, over, so it does work, I just went wrong on mine. You, what, what you want to do is be doing the opposite okay. to the row in front. Mm -hmm. uh, so they must be the other way round. Give over. Under. Over. Is that a northern thing or is that a Welsh thing? What? Under over? Give over. Give over. I say Give it. over. Stop it. Give is over. Is it northern? Is it? I've been told. Is it? Give over. Yeah. Give over. Give over. Yeah, I've seen that. Give, Give over. over. Stop doing it. Over. Under. Over. Now what I want to do is show you how to add in another piece because you can, that's all you're doing, you just keep going round and round and round. Yeah. If you have a look on the bottom of, of the other one. Yeah, that's how it's done. It, it literally just builds up. Easy as that. And then how do we finish that off and attach it? Right, so when you need to add in, you'll me need to add in more wire. So all you do when you come into the end of that one, yeah. is you go back a few of the stays, a few of the... the these bits mm. and you just follow where you've been okay. and over overwrite it almost and then you when you've finished trim off the ends of the wires then okay so you follow that all the way round <coughs> till you've got it the size okay. and just keep putting it on to see if it's the same size yeah then I trimmed them to about half a centimetre yeah. maybe a centimetre wider than the thing and bent them all and then fitted it on the bottom. So, Fab. if that was done, I bent them all up and then I went round and this found a gap in the wire and tipped them in. I see, perfect. And if you take the bags out, yeah. you'll see in the bottom where they've been bent in, but you want to then go around the inside and push it down. If you turn around the other way, I don't know whether you should be able to, can you go in close on that one? because you should be able to see where they've been bent in. Otherwise. See, you can see where the wires are bent in. Yeah, you can. Yeah? And then you just push them down to make sure there's no sharp edges sticking out. Fab. And there you go. That's how you finish him. Wonderful. I yeah, absolutely right. love him. He's so smiley and cute. Smiley. Um, you have got the opportunity, don't forget, to create your own pumpkin. And if you do, send it in because it's our competition. Third prize is a mixed bee scoop. Second prize is 30 pounds. Uh, gift voucher and the top prize is you get to come to one of our workshops fantastic this is how you get involved make yourself your wire work pumpkin send your entries to the latest october the 30th to the hub at jewelrymaker.com and we'll let you know the winners on the 31st thank you so That's much okay. for showing us Sorry. that and that was lovely inspiration piece after the break not only is pete doing an impression Ooh. but yeah i've got your challenge <laughs> 
and that beautiful challenge ring that um, Alison's going to create for us, probably uh, using the topaz. And um, also, I've got brand new goodies. Stay where you are. <laughs> But being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. You can now watch clips from Jewellery Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. <laughs> if you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker, we love seeing your jewelry creations, learning about your inspiration, and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewelry blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewelry underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting. But being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. That advert was so good, we showed it twice, back to back. <laughs> that was a slight accident. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't catch it the first time, you need the second time. My name is Rebecca Reddickin. I am joined by in the doghouse, Alison Tarry. Hi, love. Hi, Tommy. How are you? Yeah, don't try and be sweet. Um, <laughs> how's your challenge going, lovely? Oh, well, I'm just starting it. Sort of. Oh, sort of. Sort of. Don't worry, you've got loads of time. There. You've got a good 35 minutes. Oh, cheers. <laughs> You're so generous. My name's Rebecca Reddickin. 
and I have a confession to make. Oh. I love this strand of zircon more than I love some opal strands I've seen. Ooh. That's a statement. Take a look at this for me. It's amazing. The history, the intrigue, the bifringence, the double refraction is all of the reasons this gemstone for me is so superb. I want you all to be honest now. Tell me or ask yourself, why do you love diamonds so much? Why? Why do you? Honestly, why do you? Because things that diamond offer you, this gemstone can do too. You've hit the nail on the head there, Ben. Ben says, I actually don't know. I've never really thought about it. I think it's because I've just been told that I should like diamonds. And don't get me wrong, I do adore diamonds. And for me, for me, one reason that I love diamonds so much is because I love the prestige of the name. I really do. I know that sounds probably a little bit snobby, but I do. I love that. I love that everyone knows what diamond is. And when you say diamond, people go, ooh, feels posh. It's expensive, isn't it? Zircon, for me personally, gives me things that diamond don't. How many have you got? Is that it? Okay, I'm in last chance to lean on this. Um, history wise, historically, it is so much older than diamond. So much older. Um, tell you a very, very quick story about um, kind of the history behind this. There's Professor um, Valley, and um, he essentially did and found a piece of this beautiful gemstone when he was mining. He was actually mining for gold, but he managed to find a little piece of this. And um, he, uh, Professor Wild and Professor Valley, got together and they worked together, and they tried to age this piece of zircon. Now. This was not that long ago, this was in the 80s, um, and they decided to, <clears throat> at this time, we expected the Earth would be around 4.5 onwards years old. That was the guesstimation, billion, sorry, years old. Um, and the Professor Valley and Professor Wild bought a one million pound spectrometer, which essentially kind of looked into the heart and soul of the gem, really. They were able to age this zircon piece to be around 4.6 billion years old. Changed the way that science thought about the world. It really, really did. It's a spectacular amount of time ago. Almost, um, almost unimaginable, actually, isn't it? Zircon recently has been in the news as well, only a couple of weeks ago, because looking at some pieces of zircon that they've found, they've worked out that the world wasn't actually a big hot ball of magma as they kind of first presumed, because um, the structure of this shows that it's been cooled at quite a slow rate. So they've, it's changed the way that they think, that, that science thinks about the world in general. This gemstone is bifringent. It's doubly refractive. Diamond isn't. Diamond is singularly refractive. One ray of light enters, one ray of light exits. This gemstone, one ray of light enters, it splits into two and comes back at your eye with this double shine. Your price point today if Zircon had had even a quarter of the money and promotion pumped into it as Diamond had, even a quarter you would be adding a one at the front of that. You would be adding a one at the front of it. 24 pounds and 95 pence. 
Tell me honestly, what do you think of Zircon, Alison? Oh, I love it. I love it because you do you you get a lot of the same properties, and I know a lot of people get mixed up between that and the artificial cubic yep. zirconium, yeah, yeah. and that it outshines it by a mile. Yeah, it does. It, it even outshines some diamonds. Mm, I yeah. think it's beautiful. I really do think it's beautiful, and you get you get the colours in it as well, don't you? Oh yeah. So you've got everything that you need, but like you say, you got the history as well. It's amazing. It's the most ancient mm. of all by miles. Miles. It's incredible. Um, it is incredible. Ladies and gents, if you want to get your hands on a piece of history, now is your opportunity. You can't see the serious sparkle, to be honest. Um, you will, when you get it home, you'll be able to see how this is a bifringent gemstone and how spectacular this is to work with. I'll be honest with you though, this is so popular, I've got less than 15 of these now. So please do get yourself on the phone lines for this. This is a very special gemstone. Um, we don't have it on that often, which is a shame. But when we do, we do it right. Ask yourself this honestly, if this was diamond, what would you be paying? Faceted, drop diamond. What would you be paying at our price? How many carrots? 50, 30 carrots. 50 carrots. Even at our prices. Well, I know what I paid for five carrots. Which, they were 119. 119. Just for faceted. Yeah, yeah. Not for drops. Yeah. Um, uh, you, yeah, you're going to be looking at four figures, I'd have thought. For me, if you want the idea of the look of diamond it's at a low price point, then treat yourself, because you can't get much better than this. This is the genuine real deal. This is not cubic zirconia. Cubic zirconia is a man-made product um, that is, um, <laughs> oh really? Um, it is a faux gemstone, it's, it's man-made, it's made by machines and chemicals, but cubic zirconia is actually named after this gemstone, it's trying to be it. Doesn't happen that to many gems, does it? I'm sure you can think of sums that are to do with diamond, can't you? What, fake ones? Fake ones, you can think of fake names that have been classed as diamonds, yeah. but they're not. It's like that, yeah. Um, can't say the name. Um, but you have got those names trying to be diamonds. But that's pretty much the only gem that has been copied in that way, really. Well, that and this, anyway. Twenty-four ninety-five for the real deal. Thirty carats worth. Congratulations, ladies. What are we doing, sweet pea? Brand new, brand new, b -b 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 brand new. No idea. Um, let me bring to you something, I don't know if you know, that is new. And you are going to love the luxury. It's 925. It's enveloped delectably in rose gold. This, ladies and gentlemen, for me, goes to show that we here at Jewelry Maker go out, we hunt, we search, we listen to what you say, and we create unique and individual pieces whenever possible. And we have done it with such style this time. This isn't any old toggle clasp. This is a Jewelry Maker toggle clasp. What does that look like? It looks like a heart, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It looks like a lock, doesn't it? Do you think it looks like a lock? What do you need for a lock? A key. Isn't that dinky? It's a toggle clasp, lock and key. How gorgeous is that, Alison Terry? I know, I think that's ingenious. Whoever came up with that idea, it's ingenious. Isn't that spectacular? I cannot get over this. No, it's fab. Isn't that just so, so beautiful? Can you see what we have here? You've got that really workable, really useful toggle clasp. Now, I'm gonna put my neck on the line here, to be honest, and say to you, 
If you're creating something for a loved one, for a family member, for a best friend, a lot of the time you'll exclusively be working with 925, won't you? When you can, if you've got the availability. Maybe if we're making things on stalls, we won't. You know, you don't have to, really. And that's absolutely fine. You can just use the plated copper, can't you? But generally, for a special occasion, we want to use 925. I would say that when you have 925 enveloped in rose gold, that is so unique a piece like this, that's even more special. Because you're giving something that doesn't just have a function, isn't just luxurious because of the look of it, but it's a lock and key that says a lot. It's not any old lock either. Look, it's a heart-shaped lock that we have here. That is so, the thought that has gone into this, and that is the type of thought that when you give that as a gift, people will be thinking of. You're, in a way, giving them the lock and the key to your heart. It's a made piece that you've created, that you've put time, effort, energy, and love into making. And then you're attaching your heart. I love it. I really genuinely do. I think you can see that. I think they're gorgeous. Your toggle clasp, 925 enveloped in rose gold, your price today. <laughs> that's such a special piece. And that's substantial. Yeah. It's not a flimsy little, you know, a, a thin one. That's a substantial piece of silver you've got there. It's beautiful. I've brought, uh, from a well-known store a while ago now, but I bought three plain toggle clasps that were copper for that price. Three plain small toggle clasps. Do you know what? For me, personally, for special occasions, I would prefer to spend that on one exquisite and unique piece like this. And, and though this is a toggle clasp, now, bear with, earrings. Because, you know, you have odd earrings, they're really in fashion, aren't they? What you, been, I've seen around, you know, um, earrings, like one says yes, one says no, one's a moon, one's a star, or whatever, yeah. How cute are these as a pair of earrings? <laughs> <laughs> that is a bit quirky, I suppose. I love them, personally. They're fab, aren't they? Look, oh, sorry. Or a pendant, yeah, good idea. You could have them dangling, couldn't you? Well, yeah, just you charms. Could, you, could, you could have them as just charms. You could use them as, as the front fastener. Instead of having it at the back, you'd want that shown, wouldn't you? Oh, you'd yeah. want that part of your design in the front. That yeah. is absolutely astonishing. I love it. The design and the thought. 9.95 for you. That's it. Congratulations. Right. Now, really quickly, let's give you a bit of a bargain, shall we? Anyone in the mood for a bargain? Love yeah. a good bargain. Oops. Yeah, I've just I've just taken the knot out and slipped off the gem so I could show you them in my hand. <laughs> Good recovery. A hundred and seventy carats worth I have here. <laughs> Look at the drill hole on these. Hang on, can I get it? Where is it? Hang on. Let's get the light. There it is. Look at the size of that. It's huge, isn't it? You could possibly easily get a 0.6 to Rio, maybe even higher, maybe even higher. Uh, you have got your gorgeous carnelian, a massive range here of the feminine and the masculine tones, of course, uh, off the Roman times. Um, you have got beautiful, rich, deep, burnt umbers. You've got ambers. Um, you've got amber tones. Um, coming uh, through on this strand as well. You've also got your whites in here too. Gorgeous strand. Look how beautiful. All of these hand carved. 170 carats worth. Look at that. Oh, that beautiful. 12 mil on these. Anyone up for a bargain? 
You've got it! £6.95 for you. Loads of you coming in for this. Hey, if you want a bargain and you want a genuine gemstone and you want variety of colour in a gorgeous, usable, workable shape, can you get much better than this at £6.95? Oh, you brought me this brew. Uh, Laura Binding, didn't she? Spell She's binding herself. She is a corker. She can stay. I love her. <laughs> um, listen, ladies and gents. Sometimes this time comes, you know, sometimes you'll think, why is that weird presenter just started rambling on about something and... <laughs> okay, genuinely, is it pick on Becky Day today? <laughs> My producer, no. I've been compared to a dog um, <laughs> twice. Um, I've been called able as opposed to glamorous. <laughs> Um, and my producer has now just gone when I said, do you ever feel like, why is your presenter just going on about anything? She went, yes, I feel like that every day. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> too little, too late, sweet pea. <laughs> She's like that now. It's just banter. Yeah, yeah, well, it's all right. Liam will be the one looking after me soon. <laughs> now, lovely ladies and gentlemen, sometimes we'll have this bit where you bring the price on and the presenter just rambles on about something completely different. And it's because when there's a massive amount of people that come in, you're getting told, stall, 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 because people can't get through on the phone, stall, stall, stall. So, that's happened now. But you don't have to have me rabbit it on. Why? Because this is designer inspiration. My name's Rebecca Redican. Whenever I'm on, I am joined by Pete Yay. and his impression time. Round of applause. Come on, Pete. Come on, Brother Pete. Brother Pete. Brother Pete. Brother Pete has got props. I've got props for this one. <laughs> I got props for this Don't one. Don't mind my hair, by the way. I've, I think I've put too much cob over time. <laughs> I love how you've got like a bald patch in your cobwebs, <laughs> <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, hello, gorgeous brother hello. Pete. Um, now, you were given the challenge to do a spook. Oh! A spooktacular impression for us today. And am I right in saying you've yeah, done that? I'm prepared. Yeah. Now, I now am able to step out of shot. Normally, I have to stand ridiculously close to Brother Pete, and Brother Pete doesn't love it, to be honest. But today, we don't have to hear him. This is a very special this impression. This is a performance act. <laughs> this isn't an impression. This is a performance. This is, this is art. Okay, bit too far now. Okay. Ready? It's Pete's spectacular impression. See if you know who this is. I, right, I've, I've literally <laughs> just walked up. Yeah, no. See if you know who this is, then. Okay. Yeah, see you if you know up. who this is. Yeah. We, I, yeah, we understand what impressions there for. We know we've got to guess it. I'm okay. going. with an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Let's be honest, there were some tense moments, wasn't there, in that? There genuinely was some tense moments. Are you alright? <laughs> oh no, that was, who was that meant to be, Pete, if people don't know? That, that was, uh, if you've seen the Adams Family, that was, that, that was the thing. Thing from the Adams Family, it. that's it. I gave you a casual hint about this a moment ago. I'm not allowed to tell you about it properly in advance because we've got so few. If you like the history behind Zircon, how about you take a little look at the history encapsulated within one of our most popular organics. Take a look. 
There is a bug in mine. Oh my goodness, and it's got wings. I've never had such a whole bug. Can you see him? Can you get in close? Oh, Glenn, sorry, I've just moved out of shot, sweet pea. How close can we get on this? I need you to see this bug. It's like a whole bug, wings and all. Don't forget the interesting thing about this is that some of the animals or organics that you could have, is it easier if I put the torch behind now? It's not, is it? Um, the organics that you get, you could have animals or organics encapsulated within there that are extinct because this is formed millions of years ago because essentially it is a resin from a, a specific type of tree, the monkey puzzle tree, and it is fossilized resin. That's what it is. It's a very unique resin because it doesn't, uh, you know, mm, dissolve or melt or uh, fade away like certain resins will. It's very unique in that. And that's what it is. It's just ancient resin with beautiful encapsulations within them. This is your amber cab. Very few of these left. 10 by 13 mil. Your price. I've got some of these mm. and I absolutely could not believe the price. I really could not believe the no. price. It's amazing, isn't it? What, would you, what have you done with yours? What are you going to do with yours? Um, well, I've got three yeah. and I'm going to make a necklace. Love it. Because while, while we were on honeymoon, we bought some amber because we were near the Baltic. Mm. <laughs> not for that price, I can tell you that much. That's why it's a sellout. <clears throat> yeah, well, Six there you 95. Go. Congratulations. Where to? Pete's closed my door. Bundle, okay. You're going to love this. Does anybody love abalone shell? If you do, this is an ear, <laughs> but it looks very similar. You might think it was. Look at it. It's got a touch of the abalone about it, hasn't it? Because look, Look at the myriad of colours. Pinks, greens, yellows, spanning on the surface. This is your black shell and these are your flat queens. Now, that is a unique effect, isn't it? It really is. 12 mil on this. I compare it to abalone because I can't actually think of anything else that this looks like apart from that. It's spectacular. Um, <clears throat> it's beautiful. I have got for you as well, look at these little pebbles. This is your black agate. Centre drilled slices we have here. So they're all slightly different in size and in shape, but they're all flattened off. Can you see that? So you can have them button form if you want. There, aren't they cool? So that is your wonderful agate, uh, 300 carats worth on that strand. I've got another strand of agate for you in here, faceted, and they are fascinating. Four mil, 20 carats worth. Look at the sparkle. Ladies and gents, can I ask you something? Do you ever just need a little bit of sparkle in your day? Do you ever have those days where you want to, you wear an individual piece or you want to work with a certain gem or you want to just have something that makes you stand a little bit taller. Do you, know, you know those days where, you know, you put on a new pair of shoes and all of a sudden you, oh, you feel a bit, I get like that with certain gemstones and that's how this strand makes me feel because it's so sparkly because the luster is so spectacular but the facet in comparison to the size of the gem is amazing. Four mil on these ones, gorgeous. I've then got your black retail quartz, which I haven't seen in donkey's years. I can't think of the um, how long I've not seen this for. I really, um, it's absolutely beautiful monochrome gemstone. Every single one with these shards within. Um, have I just had a text in, have I? Oh, about that shell. Teddy bear, you genius. If it's in capitals, do I have to shout it? 
Yeah, I won't. Uh, great for couplings, those circle shells, Strand. You are so right. They are perfect for cufflinks. If you don't know how to create cufflinks, we've got a DVD called Makes for Men and it tells you on that. All you really need is the, yeah, all you really need is a tea bar um, from a um, toggle clasp or a bit of wire. That's pretty much it. Hocus Pocus Agate, your price today. Should be. We're not staying there. Your price today is amazing. Not £15.80, £10.95 for you today for all four strands now. If this was Abalone Show, you'd pay that just for that. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Now, um, that is £2.74 a strand. Did you say Pete just had a message in? I saw a message to Pete. Loads of you coming through for this. Have they? Oh, what is it? It says the... Hi team, good show. Great impression by Pete. Oh, that is good. As a film cliffhanger. <laughs> Helena, why don't you know what cliffhanger is? I love that. Pete, cracking it. Come over here. What do you have to say about that? I've seen the film. I don't get... I've seen I don't the get film. Why that was like cliffhanger. Because you were going between, because the, two were going between um, the two cliffs. Yeah. Have you actually <laughs> seen that film? Because yeah. that is the whole gist of the film. <laughs> yeah. I'll admit, yeah. Okay. I'll admit, okay. It's tenuous. Yeah. I love that. Pete, so popular. Ten pounds and ninety-five pence. Thanks for that text, lovely. Um, where did you say sorry, sweet comes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you ever get those days where someone says something to you three times and you still carry on doing the opposite? On your right. On your right, Becky. On your right. Oh, <laughs> my other right. Look at these. Do you want quality, workable charms? I've got to go through these really, really quickly uh, because we're running out of time. But get yourself on them. Charming Trio, you have got in here six carats worth of lapis. That is 18 by, uh, sorry, 16 by 12, and you've got the brush detail heart. You've then got another heart with rose quartz. Uh, same um, size, same carat weight, six carats worth we have on here, but the color's different. The color is a rose gold tone. And then lastly, but by no means leastly, the one that people are probably going to love. A flower detail. Labradorite. Your price point should. We want to take this to a price that you would be happy to pay for just this one. Your price today is not £12, it's just £7.95. Wouldn't you be happy to pay that just for this one? You'd chuffed, wouldn't you? But you're getting, actually, for that, it's only £2.65. If you say separate it out of the components, it'd actually be pound something, wouldn't it? They're going quickly, obviously. Uh, do treat yourself. I'll show you all three together just so you get the gist. There we go. Beautiful. Lapis, rose quartz, and your Labradorite. Seven ninety-five. That's the low price. You won't be seeing again, especially with the amount of people coming in for them. Separate them. Use them as charms. Use them as pendants. Use them however you like. <laughs> Helen has just gone. Oh, I've just realised I've only done one strand of pearls so far today. She needs to do another. You know how much she loves them. Oh, we have done two. Well, she's going to squeeze another one. Here it is. If you want a wonderful organic nature, why not add these? These could be a bit Halloween y. Mm. Oh, you like? Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's an unusual colour for pearls. 
Isn't it? Yeah. Apricots or apricots, Ooh. depending where you live. Um, these, oh, you, apricot. Yeah, one of my friends calls them apricot. She is also the person who calls a necklace a necklace like that. <laughs> a necklace. Lace. I don't know about you, but I wear a chain around my neck, not laces. <laughs> anyway. Um, apricot, a beautiful side drilled cultured baroque pearls. These are huge. Have you seen the size? Nine by eight mil. Decent size, aren't they? How gorgeous would these be as a ring? You know the um, the beautiful uh, rings that are in fashion at the moment that are the um, Ring pearls. Do you know what I mean, Alison? Do you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> do you, Alison? That's so mean. <laughs> what do you think of those, Alison? <laughs> I think they're amazing. Do you? Do you? Good. I'm glad. <laughs> That's a little bit of payback. As soon as she put food in her mouth, I'll ask her a question. <laughs> Um, you could create that look, but sometimes, for me anyway, they're a, li they're a little bit too proud. That's just my taste. But with these, I can get the same look, but because they're flattened, it's more of a sort of elegant appeal to me, personally. Um, you have got loads on this round. You can see that already, your price point today. Honestly, 6.95. You don't have to do that much with these. You can. You can go wild with them. Go to town. Headpieces, fascinators. Oh, I haven't told anyone this yet, but I'm going to now. On the 18th of this month, I am joined by the gorgeous, the glamorous Gemma Crow. And guess what? It's her first time ever working with lace. And we are doing a masquerade ball. Pearls and lace together? Can you get any better? Uh, six pounds and 95 pence for you today. It is fantastic, isn't it? It truly, truly is. Treat yourself to it. NEP 08, uh, sorry, 081 is your code on this. Apricot side drill pearls. Double buyers on this. Well done, everybody who's getting it. I'm going to squeeze in another for me. Ladies and gentlemen, the price you're about to see on your screens for this, on your laptop or your computer, whatever, if you're watching on the web, the price that's about to come up, it's not the price we're staying at. Should be. This is a beautiful, beautiful citrine. This is rich. This is deep. This is spectacularly sparkling. Do you mind if I show you around one of them? Do you mind? Let's let's have a little look. Which one do you want to see? If I just show you around one. Let's have a look. What about this one? Just because I've got a decent space there. Um, look at how the fire falls within this as I'm moving it. Can you see internally how that light plays? Look at those facets. Look at that checkerboard effect facet. That's only because, that is only because of the facets. That's it. That's it. The facets are long, rectangular. They're in different directions. So when one side hits the other, it gives you that checkerboard appearance. It is an exquisite way to show the life, the brilliance, the fire, the brightness and the fawn within this gemstone. It's a great way to really get you to just love and adore and enjoy citrine with this much zest. And this is zesty, isn't it? Sometimes referred to as the gemstone of happiness. It is zesty, it's bright, it's fun, it's kind of like sunshine, isn't it really? I'm about to make this horrible, drizzly day brighten up a little bit. 
Add some sunshine to your life with the lowest ever price of £10,095. Never seen that price point on this before and it's yours right now at £10,095. It's bright, it's beautiful, it's glimmering, it's shining. It is for you today. This amazing price, loads of you coming in. I don't think you expected us to go that low, did you? Be honest. But we have today 120 carats worth. There are loads and loads and loads of you coming in. Thank you very much for joining me today. I do greatly appreciate it. I hope you all know that. And um, thank you very much for joining me. And that's a little way to say, treat yourself. Why not? It's horrible outside. We had thunder and lightning before. You might have heard halfway through the show, the rain coming down so much it's bouncing off the ceiling. You can hear it in the studio. It's horrible. Add some sunshine. Do you know what? We all deserve a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of fun, don't we really? We do. And why not at that price point? £10.95. Congratulations. Now, <laughs> let's head on over. Am I forgiven? Oh, you're forgiven! Wait, it has to fit. <laughs> oh, you're forgiven! <sighs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> I am so in love. Look at that! <laughs> oh my goodness, my producer Helena has just gone crazy for this. <laughs> Look at the quality of that. Don't forget, oh. we gave wonderful Alison two strands. We gave one with the Imperial Topaz that you can see glistening away in the center here. 90 carats worth. Um, and we brought you the pearls as well, which will come up on the bottom of your screen in a moment. Um, hi, lovely lady. I've got a lady. little necklace, but I was starting to, to make a cascade, but I haven't got far enough with that. How beautiful. Tell us about how you made this. Well, this, this uh, very simple, just stranding. Just the, I thought the pearls and the topaz went really well because those right. pearls have got that bronzy autumnal feel. You're so right. And and I just wanted to put them on there. And then when it when when I thought the best make amends and make a ring. <laughs> and, uh, How did to, you do that? To take that topaz. Well, I made like an ice cream cone. Yeah. Of the wire. Mm. To put the so that it would sit in because you know the the. The tops of these are not going to take a lot of force, yeah, of so course. I wanted to protect it. Yeah. So I, I, I made a little comb for it to sit in, and then got some wire, put the pearls on the wire, and wrapped it round. And wrapped it round. Love that, Alison. It's gorgeous. You're forgiven. Oh, I will work with you again. Oh, um, lovely lady. Oh. Thank you so much for today. I have had a riot. I have too. You've been good. Real. Oh bless you. Um, so when are you with? Oh, stop. No, go on. Um, when are you with us next? I've got the course on the 25th, the workshop, sorry, if you've yeah. the course, and then I'm back on Halloween. <laughs> yes! It's going to be <laughs> spectacular. Thank you very much for joining us today. I'm back with you tomorrow. I'm on the morning show tomorrow, so I will see you then. Alison will see you soon. Have a wonderful evening. See you soon.